Do or die, how are we feeling right now about to get in this ring? I feel great. I feel focused. I feel peaceful. I'm glad there's no more chatter because I don't give a fuck what Kirk Minahan thinks about me, says about me, or anything. He goes in the category of noise. And what's noise? Just noise, something I ignore. So I'm happy that he's he's done talking, but it never mattered to me. I don't care if he says I'm going to be on a stretcher. I don't give a shit about anything. Actions have always spoke louder than words, and that's all it's about tonight. Guys, I've spoken to a lot of fighters. This girl is not nervous. She's focused, and I'm expecting big things. Good luck tonight, girl. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Large. And then we have Caleb with who I would say are two of the new sensations from Rough and Rowdy, the Able Brothers, who actually performed a shakedown earlier tonight in the green room uh, and basically took 5000 from me, 1000 from you. Ian is asking for a free sandals trip. Caleb. Yep, that's true, Dave. You guys basically, uh, well, you were owed some money, is that true? Uh, we were, yeah. The big cat owed us each a $500 accent bonus, which he made good on, so good for big cat. And Dave also promised Spencer yeah, yeah, 5K yeah. for his daughter, came through on that, so. Yeah, but uh, Dave's still at large. We're still looking for one last thing, though, even though Dave's more than generous. But we're still trying to hunt down that elusive sandals uh, honeymoon, honeymoon for my son. twin brother coming up, getting married here in the fall, so. What do you guys think that you could do to, to to earn that trip tonight. Uh, we're putting the Knicks in the bag. Uh, we dug a grave for each of them right outside the arena, so that's where they're going after the yeah, fight. We're bagging them up like groceries. The coroner's already on the way, yeah, so. They've been called, they're on their way, so they know they're gonna have at least two cold ones coming their way. You know, it's usual. And our boy Shizat's gonna get a knockout, so they might have three coming, yeah. cold bodies. David Big Cat, maybe not the only people they're shaking down tonight. Yeah, it seems like the whole arena. All right, it's that time. Big Cat National Anthem time. Here we go. We're about to start rough and rowdy. 18. How's everyone doing tonight? We'll wait for Ke Caleb to get in here. Give it up for Caleb. All right, let's do the anthem. Caleb. I got a flag, too. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glow, the bombs burst. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the Huntington, West Virginia, are you ready to get rough? Are you ready to get rowdy? Let's get rough and rowdy! And here we go. Here we go. Great job, Dan. Uh, Rough Rowdy 18 presented by Dude, Dude Wipes, Ugh. Whistle Pig Whiskey, 3 Chi, and Wood. Here we go. Uh, Rough and Rowdy, first fight. By the way, Dan, a lot of weird things happen. This first fight, which is between Jameer, the rapper Walker, and Nelson fucking sickest a seven. So <laughs> Nelson 
dropped off. He's a car dealer. And before the fight, he dropped me off. And I don't know what these are worth. A Tom Brady 2019 Panini Donruss card and a Mac Jones uh, Sage. So, so you got a better card pack than me because he gave me a Khalil Mack who's well, not on the Bears. Well, well, and the Bears have nobody to give. So well, that hurts that was, them. That hurts me. So, so, I mean, what are you going to do? And here we go. And these entrances, oh, we really upped it up here. The production value. Smoke. Everything. Yeah, look at this guy coming out. That's a Canadian fan, it looks like. And this, of course, is the rapper Walker. He's yeah. his protege of the ninja. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, the ninja is fighting later on in the night, so hits his personal trainer. He also goes by the rapper named Confidence with a K. Yeah, and he has been training at a legitimate boxing gym in Kentucky. So if you haven't done wrapping around, I don't know where you've been. We got about 20, 21 fights, all of them great. I think the mood, uh, you know, to be honest, Stu Finer, who is in Alex Bennett's corner, is talking so nervously. He's oh making me God. nervous. It was like a morgue when he walked in. He, it, it, it was like he was showing up to a wake. It's never good when the manager talks like that. And this guy is doing a pregame routine in the red gloves as though he knows what he's doing, kind of bobbing and weaving around the ring, getting his steps yeah. in, getting some cardio in before the fight. We're, Chest I, out. Yeah, a couple air jabs, and you can see the Careful. entrance behind. Are we, uh, and this is a much oh. more low-key entrance yeah. as he just sneaks right in and nobody even knows he's tatted up. So here's Nelson, fucking sick as Aceved, also a card dealer, uh, and dropped off a bunch of cards for me. And I can't remember two more di d d different entrances. One no. guy with music, one guy with nothing. He's stuck in the back door. Yeah, nobody with them. So All right, let's see what we got. Quick tattoo check. I'm going to say Nelson Acevedo has that one. Yeah. He, God I, knows what on. I don't even know what's on his legs. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Those look like a uh, 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 Ouija board. I feel like I can't hear you, Dave. Are we low? I can hear you. Wait. Talk, Dan. Talk, talk, talk. I can hear you pretty clearly. I can't. Can you turn up? But I can't Can tell if I'm just hearing you through yeah, right. hearing you. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Blue hair is red. <laughs> Fight one and right out the car dealer. Comes out swinging and the other guy's still on his bike. So the car dealer. Oh! And oh! He's out cold. Wait, what happened? That looked like in a UFC fight. I thought that was I thought that was uh, Game Fred, the way he went down. That was a cartoon Wait, knockout. That was, that was Game Fred, the way he was making fun of the, the crypto guy, how he fell. But he popped back up like he had knocked out. Wait, you're knocked out. And then he throws a big right. Welcome to Robert Rowdy. Go across again. Dan, he this was is out thunderstruck. Cold. Dan, he was out cold. I don't know how he's on his feet. His yeah. legs, there's a little wrestle. He got knocked out cold. Knocked up. He only got hit again. He got Folded like a lawn chair, Dan. It was oh, one now in wrestling. wrestling. MMA in portion. Pole position. Dan, his <laughs> legs went down. It was literally what the game bread guy did. What is his name? I can't think of game bread. The UFC it, guy it, went against Ben Askren. Oh. He's down again. I can't get yes. over that first knockdown. When game bread, why can't they get it? He, he fell down. When he knocked out Ben Askren and made fun of him, that is exactly what just happened to the card. That, was, that was a cartoon knockout. It looked like a piano <laughs> fell on his that head. We have to see that I've again. Gotta see that replay. This is part of the night we have to start out. Eight. How do you get up from that? Round eight. <laughs> oh my God. He literally. That was Ben Askren. He was I, out cold. I was waiting for the Looney Tunes to be around his head. <laughs> Dan, he was out cold. I, I've never seen anyone fall like that. He was literally. Oh my. <laughs> he's, you're out cold. He's out cold, Dan. How did he get back up? He and was fight? a perfect straight that line. That is the greatest recovery I've ever seen in competitive oh combat my sports. God. That was the hottest start we've ever had. God, Dan, he was out cold. His eyes are out. He folded. He was out. He was, was out. There was nobody home, and he's back up throwing punches. I think if you ask them right now, did you get knocked down? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. It, it, that made no sense. Yeah. Any piece of that. And then they wrestled. Let's go. It, it was literally. It was literally game bread. I can't believe I can't think. I smoked weed with them as house in Miami, the king of Miami. Oh, oh, oh! You're talking about Masvidal. When Masvidal made fun of Ben Askren getting yes. knocked out, that is how that guy just got knocked out. He got right back up. The car dealer is. I don't know. What do you do with a guy like this? What do you do with the guy who's knocked out cold and he's back from the dead like he never got killed? I, I think he could get knocked out four times and get up. Because if you can get up from that, you can correct. get up from anything. No, no, you could get shot right in the face and you just get right up like Terminator and it disappears as silver mush. I, I may be talking about this fight the whole night. If, 
He was I like need an to see it again. I need to see he it again. He got knocked out like an accordion. His <laughs> eyes were in the back of his head. And he's up here like nothing happened. This is amazing. One of the great feats I've ever seen in Rough and Rowdy happened. Oh, he, this guy's he's he's loopy. Off, he's he loopy. may just have an off switch. Yeah. He may yeah, have an, an off, human off switch. switch. Yes, yeah, right. That he was, doesn't even. That was crazy. He doesn't even look uh -oh. past. And he's throwing big punches back to the head. This fight's yeah. up for grabs at this point. That's a load up right there from Rello Wrestling. Little noogie action. <laughs> The car dealer. Can I, I see that knockout from the first again. round again? That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. Some, some uh, a lot, lot of, what do we do? Three ring girls? Well, once. Let's get that half. knockout. Let's get that knockout. We have to see it again and again. Well, that was one of the greatest knockouts ever in Rough Rowdy history. It didn't even end the fight. Oh, it's cool. He's so cool, Tim. In the head? Tim, he's, so cool. he's a fish. He's, he's a right fish. He looks like a dead up. fish. He's, he's a, a dead fish he, that jumps yeah. like when a fish gets <laughs> yeah. on the boat and it's just flopping uh, around. Uh, how? I've never seen a faster recovery ever in anything in my life. <laughs> and he's ready to go for round three. He could still win this fight. I, I honestly don't know if he knows that happened. No, I don't think so. We're going to have to have Caleb ask him because I've never seen anything like that in my life. That in was, my life. That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. You think you've seen all Rough and Rowdy. And it was 20 seconds into Rough The car Rowdy. dealer comes in, gets knocked unconscious, and is oh, back awake. We got confidence doing a little tongue wagging at him. Oh, yeah, I see that. But he's got that right hand cock, the car dealer. And, and car dealer cannot be hurt. And, well, he can, but not yeah. really. He takes oh, a couple shots there. One. Lights are still on. The switch still says go. Oh. Into the ground they go. Good sportsmanship so far. I think that was kind of a tackle yeah. by confidence. Oh, 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 oh we got an arm back. We got an arm back. Oh, no. Uh -oh, a He's little trying to break under. his arm. Yep. yep. The old screaming. The that card. was a little Kelly Olynyk, Kevin Love oh, action yeah, yeah. going Mike on. Mike Tyson did that one oh. time. Mike Tyson did that a lot. He had all his weight on his arm. Wow, I still can't believe it. He didn't, there's the tongue whack. Oh, good sportsmanship still. You got to think right now this is the Red Gloves fight. But it, it's, so. it's, the, it's, the, it's the car dealer's night. It now is they're the, frozen. Yeah. They're frozen. Big oh. right. He's still doing the tongue good, wagon. Good oh. little left. Spinneroo. I oh, think now car dealer's gassed. looking gassed. Yeah. He's looking very well, good. I think he just realized he, he got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah he didn't get it knocked out. It just hit him. Last 10 seconds in the uh, round. This has to go to Red Gloves. A little rip shot to let him know Gloves stuck, and there it is. That's the end of the fight. I mean, I, I honestly think you have to give it to Nelson Acevedo just for getting up from that. It's one of the great highlights we've had in the history of Rough The winner will be Jameer the Rapper Walker, but people are going to be talking about Nelson fucking Sickus Aceved. I, I, I just never seen anything as clean a punch, a clean as knockout as we've had with a man. He hit the ground and it like woke him up. On us. <laughs> all right, that was what we all expected, but holy shit, it's one of those rare fights that you have to talk to the loser more than the winner. If, and that's by the way, the story. if you have friends, that's what you tell them. You go, you don't know what you're missing right now. Yep. Something just yeah. unbelievable happened. And that's how it is. It can always be unbelievable. And that was unbelievable. Oh, Caleb's chasing down the car dealer. Here we go. Uh, let's see if we can get the thing. He's that, not even getting checked for a concussion. No, I, he, he literally doesn't know he was knocked out. <laughs> I think Caleb, is Caleb with him? Yeah, Caleb. I'm hey, uh, yeah, boys, I'm here with the car dealer. You gonna kiss me? Let's go. Am I going to kiss you? Yeah. I'm not going to kiss you, but I am going to ask you this. Early in the fight, something happened. What happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Throwing punches, doing sick things. Is there work. anything about the fight that stuck out to you at all? No. Well, those right there. That's about it. Yeah, it was just, it was just trading shots the whole way through. Nothing, nothing huge, huh? Uh, yeah. No. Is there something huge? Get knocked down, get back up fast, boys. I don't know what else to say. It's unbelievable. I'm watching it still in the replay. It's absolutely it, unbelievable. Thanks, he, does, he does not. He's going to watch that replay for the first time and be like, wait, that happened? I mean, you can see his eyes are rolling back in his head. Unbelievable. I mean, that's the toughest guy in the world to be able to get up the like that. The toughest guy in the world. All right. Fight two, Tony Eviscerate Noble versus Claire the Beast Connor. A female fight.
Uh, actually, a Boston girl, huh? Tony Eviscerate Noble. I have no idea how and she. And she wants to take on Cherry Bomber Hot Wheels real bad because that's those are the 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 two like headliner girl fights that we yep. have. So she's calling them out pre-call out. And uh, well, here comes the entrances. And this so is this is Tony. I this believe is Tony hailing from Boston. I thought she actually. She's confusing because it looks like she has full body tattoos, but it is a band-aid on her face. She's a big girl. She's we'll a big want to fuck girl. with this girl. And she does Scary. have a lot of tattoos. Tattoos mixed with crazy socks. Oh, with oh, Dave, she's got a calf tattoo that says "Get Wrecked" with yes. a K. Yikes! Get wrecked. Very, very scary. Now, wait, is yes, yeah, this is the red gloves. So this is Tony Eviscerate Noble, correct? Yeah, she's 5'9". Yes, five, nine. yes uh, Claire the Beast is I wanted to have seen this. She said she used, uh, she trained for this fight using Dance Dance or Evolution. It is a good cardio workout. Now, Claire the Beast Connor is both a uh, ring girl and a fighter. I love strutting my ass as a ring girl and beating up the tattoo girl from Boston. The woman has never fought before, so who knows if she can throw a punch. I don't think that's good. Uh, I, if you're going just on pure scariness, I would take the tattoo girl. I would too. When you How have much grease, how much Vaseline does the other girl offer in her face? Yeah, she's Look. not gonna get hit in the face. That's it. She looks like Patrick Bateman's uh, face mask in American Psycho yeah, when he wakes is, up. This is an enormous amount of Vaseline on the face. That yeah. can't be legal. She's, yeah. That, but I would say just, just purely based on tattoos, when you have a get wrecked tattoo, it feels like you want to be in a fight. Yeah, yeah. And well, they're saying Blue Gloves has never thrown a punch. And it looks like she's anticipating getting punched in the face. Here we go. Uh, tattoo Girl's up. No, no, Blue's not ready, Dan. Oh, maybe oh. she is. I underestimated. There's the first punch. She just slap punches. What is that? Who, who is oh. the girl who wear the, the Band-Aid? Um, uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Raindrops or something? Yes. Was that now? That's the one who burned down Andre Rising's yeah, house? Yeah, correct. Andre Batman's rising. Here comes the college student on the offensive. And again, a huge advantage because all those punches on her face will slip. Good right. Oh, and she's landing on the Boston Tattoo Girl. And it's all the college girl who had said never threw a punch. She's, so far, round one is connecting at the higher rate. We're moving in slow motion here, Dave. But it's good left. landing. Yep, good left. I don't know if I don't know if Tattoo Girl is I, ready. I, I'm gonna say it right now. Dance Dance Revolution, not no, it's not the right straight. thing. No, yep. I don't know if you throw a punch. Oh, oh. right, good sharp right. Uh -oh. and, uh, a little confusion when you heard the 10 second tattoo turned and looked like, what's up, Doc? This is all the college student. Yeah. Clear winner in round one. Get Rec tattoo doesn't really play right no. now. No. And now Hot Wheels is in. Get Wreck Corner, who called out Hot Wheels? No, uh, not, that's, not that's Cherry, Cherry Bomb. Cherry, Cherry Bomb. But she also said she wants to take on, Cherry, take on Bomb, Cherry Bomb, which is odd. And odd. I'm going to say right now, I don't know if she has it. No, I don't think so. Is the pizza a nod to me, I believe? Yeah, you got a little look. Yeah, I got, I got a nod with the pizza. We got a little fondage, a little pizza. Oh, a little, uh, a little Ariel, mermaid. Little yeah, mermaid. a little mermaid. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Little... Under the sea. Oh, that was beauty. Yeah. Beauty. Sebastian the Crab. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, this feels like Claire the Beast Connor has whatever she wants in this fight. Yeah. Because I, I don't think Tony Noble, eviscerate Tony Noble, who trained with Dan Sands Revolution, I don't think she practiced any punches. Didn't seem it. Oh, it is a weird stat for Blue. It says uh, she's never thrown a, never fought before, but lifetime 0 and 1. So I don't know what that means. Bet oh, better start. <laughs> oh! She knocked herself out with her own punch. Yep. What do they score that? When you when you land a punch and just fall down, I guess they're calling that a knockdown. Is it a knockdown for like well you score on your own hoop? Yeah, I think that was because she definitely just landed and then fell down. The ref is asking, are you okay? Uh, I believe she just fell on her own momentum. Oh. Much better round this time for Tattoo Girl. Uh, One-eyed Lisa? No, Lisa. Yeah. What Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Uh, Rainfalls. What is that song called? She keeps Waterfalls. looking at the ref, and this time it looked at when she's looking at the ref. Um, Blue Gloves caught her and is taking control of the round. And there's a good oh, right no. on a spin. She, she keeps out. looking at the she ref. That's it. Out. Is that it? What just happened? I don't know, but she's looking for the ref for help, and I don't think she's it's, getting it. It's bad strategy. She looked at the ref, and then she lost control of the round. That's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. She, that's all she wanted. All right. So a good try, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I go that far. Yeah, no, I was trying to be nice, but I, I, what I was really wanting to say was, 
the tattoos are, are they don't work anymore. No, 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 no. They that don't was work. misleading. Yeah. I don't love the nickname the Beast for Claire Connor. She doesn't look like a beast. No. She does half ring girl. Who do we have? Uh, do we have large with anyone? No, he doesn't look like he's with anyone yet. Um, I, Caleb can talk to. Uh, I don't either one. That let's was. See, let's see who he grabs. That now, sh that should have been a better fight, but it felt like the, the dance dance revolution kind of screwed that. I, as far as I know, that has no rhyme or reason with boxing. Yeah. I think that's just strictly cardio. It's cardio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So next up we have Dylan Maverick Murphy versus Lionel the Beast Briggs. Hometown boy Lionel Briggs from yeah. Huntington. I think do we have Caleb with someone? Yeah, Caleb's with the winner. Yeah, boys, I'm here with the winner. You you fought a, a woman who looked very athletic, very springy. Were you nervous just based on kind of how she looked? No, to be honest, um, I was told she is bodybuilder, but she showed up with no muscle. So that was that was the easiest fight I've ever had. <laughs> how many have you had? That's just my second, but I grew up with a lot of sisters, and we fought each other all the time. Are you, are you someone we might see back in Rough and Rowdy? Oh, yeah, I'm coming back. Coming back. Cool. Well, I hope you can defend your title as maybe one of the most surprising fighters we've seen thus far. Yes, and I want to re win Ring Girl, too. Okay, and up for Ring Girl, guys. All right, thanks, Caleb. I think that's the first time we've ever had it so that people in the, the stadium can hear Caleb. Yeah, that was a nice touch. And we get ready for the next fight, but it looks like Large has somebody. Hey, guys, listen, I'm sitting here. The next fight that we have coming up, we had a late cancellation. The guy wound up going to prison. In step Sam Kinker, who is now Spider Sam Kinker. I think it's going to be the first time we have a Marvel oh superhero God. stepping into the ring. What's the deal with this, Sam? Explain yourself. Well, mostly it's I love Spider-Man. Grew up with him. And then I did one fight where I came out like this with my Spider-Man persona, and the kids just loved it. And then... Uh, one girl I spent time with, a uh, little girl during that fight, she died, and it's just sort of been like... Take that mic back. This is getting more depressing than I thought. Good luck tonight, Spider-Sam Kinker. Guys, back yeah, to you. Yeah, Holy you're shit. You're right. That took a dark turn. Here we go. Now this Lionel the Beast Briggs in the blue glove says he's a Huntington champion for Tough Man and looks pretty fucking tough. Yes. Dylan the Maverick Murphy beat Spencer Abel, who'll be fighting later, gave him a bloody nose. I love the Abel brothers. I don't know what beating them says for your resume. No, no. I don't think that you put Put that on your mantle. They've been blessed with the gift of gab. I don't know about the gift of fighting. Uh, four and one lifetime is Lionel the Beast Briggs. Six and two lifetime Dylan Maverick Murphy. So who knows? This could be a good fight. Seems like two guys that have been in the ring before. Yeah, that did take a dark turn there. That was like a Tom Rinaldi when they do the soft music on ESPN. Yeah. yeah. I don't like, oh, know. Yeah, five year old died. It's fucked crazy. up. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. They touch gloves. Both of them look composed right now. Puffing the jab is the Maverick. These guys know how to box. Yeah, seems that way. Which would actually give credit to the Able Brothers. It all comes back to the Able Brothers. All roads lead to the Able Brothers. So far, just kind of feeling each other out, which sometimes happens with the higher quality fighters. Oh, good right. And a composed, well-thrown right. And good left. Oh, wing and a miss. Slip. That was right. Ref rightly says that was just a slip. So far, a little slow, but all the action being carried by the Maverick so far. As he continues to put the pressure on. Got him against the ropes. Body, body, body. He comes up top. Very good start for the fight for the Maverick. This is one of those things where sometimes when the guys know how to box, it doesn't. It gets a little slower. That was yeah. all the Maverick. That was all Maverick. Clear round to the Maverick, Dylan Maverick Murphy. He was originally going to fight Hollywood Bailey for the middleweight title, but recently lost to Michael Brown at another event, so he got bumped. Looks like we got some Canadian fans here. Ass shaking our face. Oh, titty shaking our face. Well, that was Carnival. Uh, that's Ring Girl 2. I, yeah, that's Carnival. I like that top. Yeah, that's Carnival. I'll just say it. I like that top. A lot going oh, on. Oh, that's not Ring Girl 2. That's the second round, you idiot, second round, Dan. Second yeah. round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little confusing with the multiple Ring Girl yes. action. Yeah, Jerry, the, the guy who's running this now, he, he, throws, he throws a lot of pitches at you with the Ring Girls. 
I'd like to see. So I'd like to see a little knockout here. I don't know if I think these guys are too good. I mean, we started with such a tremendous bang. All right, round two. Still coming out as the aggressors. Dylan, red gloves from West Milford, West Virginia. No yeah. idea where that is in relation it to It feels here. like the Mavericks weight is a problem oh, here. Oh, good shot though. Right, is there a big weight difference? Yeah, 20 pounds. 175 versus 155. Seems like the Maverick has a real corner invested too, giving a lot more advice. Good little left there. Good left, caught him coming in. That that punch can stun you. When he was coming in, he caught him clean again. All oh, Maverick here in round two. Oh yeah. It'll be two rounds to nothing after this. He is uh -oh. pounding him. Oh, oh, good wow. right. oh. Body. That, that is a knockdown. That was definitely a knockdown. Beautiful right when he had him hunched over from the body shots. Yeah, body, body, head. You don't see a ton of that in Rough and Rowdy. A good clean combo. Downstairs, upstairs, two nothing. Clearly, Dylan Maverick Murphy. Hey, he's looking good. I don't remember Spencer Abel's fights being great, but this guy can fight. Yeah, he definitely can fight. All right, so Dave, uh, three cheat third round. Relax ten online at threecheat.com for ten percent off the entire day of the event. Ends at midnight, so go right now. Threecheat.com. Use promo code Relax ten. Not valid with any other discount coupons. Limit one use per customer. Thank you to 3 Chi. This is a 3 Chi third round. He's going to take a knockout from Lionel the Beast Briggs. To I don't think he has it. No, I don't either. I mean, it's been all, all, all Dylan Murphy. I feel like, are these in between rounds slightly longer? They might be. I'm not sure. They might be. I feel like it, it is slightly longer. The entrance is slightly longer. Here we go, round three. And you can tell Dylan wants to put an end to this. Put an exclamation point on this show. Comes out firing out of the corner. But Briggs is fighting back here, not going to just give up. This is actually Briggs' best round so far. Yeah, it is. He's going forward a little bit. I don't know they can hurt him, though. Yeah, I think Maverick knows, too, that he's got this one. He just needs to try to win with emphasis. Yeah. But Briggs is this is this is his round so far to make, but he's got to get a knockout to win. Still can't get over that first fight. His corner's yelling at him. Finish strong, Red. I did, this is a, a decent round for Briggs, but he's still not enough to win the fight. Yeah, it's gonna you, be need, a, you needed this earlier. Yeah. Good amount of body shots from Red Corner. A little clench here to end the fight. And that'll put an end to that one. Clear winner, Dylan Maverick Murphy. That was the fastest. That was, yeah. This next fight is Spider Sam Kinker. We started getting a little bit deep, a little bit sad on us. A late entry yeah. uh, filling for Vincent Bassi, who is now in jail. That'll happen. Listen, that happens. It happens. We have we have a guy who had to pull out because he was in jail. We also have a guy who just got out of jail who's fighting later on in the card who said that he's fought multiple men at the same time in jail. A little Shawshank situation, I'm not sure. Andy Dufresne and what was the sisters? I said, I'll bite your dick off. Ooh, I'll bite your dick off. Uh, it looks like Large is standing by with the fighter. Large? Owen, last time you saw him, he was in the ring with the Milkman. Been on about a 14-month vacation, but he's back and better than ever. How are we feeling tonight, Barry, against the Raging Cajun? We're feeling great, man. Y'all heard me when I came out the ring. I left too much in there last time. That shit ain't happening again. Okay. I'm coming in there with everything I fucking got, man. You don't know what's going to happen in there, but I guarantee I'm fucking bringing everything. If he's good, he's fucking good, but I'm fucking coming for him. If there's one thing this guy brings, it's emotion. This is Scary Barry. He's coming up in one other fight. Scary Barry Cohen, keep an eye out, guys. Back to you. Ooh. So this is Spider Sam Kinger versus Jacob, the anomaly Amos. He is a cameraman for the Ninja. He's a model and actor. Says he's going to dress up like a Viking. Loves to be covered in blood. There and he this is. is him. And a big spider tattoo. Looks like a fake uh, tattoo. Yeah, he said he was going to dress as a ninja. As well, a and is he doing the spider? Oh, oh is he, he is out of the ninja camp. Is he doing it to mock spider I think so, right? 
wouldn't he then be, wouldn't it be better if he were like, um, Doctor, like the arm, the guy with all the arms. Or I was out. just thinking like a fly swatter or something, like a, a roll, a toilet paper roll that you just kill a yeah. spider with. Yeah, I guess maybe. So we got the spider on the chest, which I believe has to be mocking the full pajama Nate dog. I, I, how can you not think of Nate dog? When you, you see, see a full grown man in a spider suit seriously, you think <laughs> Nate dog. His he's, introduction to bar stool. He's also wearing shoes that look like they're catering shoes. Uh, I think there are maybe some Skechers, no shoelaces. Those are due to those generally fall off in the middle of fight. Yeah, those do, and that's that's weight staff. Now, um, now we're saying this guy isn't the ninja because he no, looks he's exactly not. He's, like he's just a ninja protege. But how do you how does ninja get his protege to be like exactly like him? I don't know. It feels like he's trying to steal ninja's whole vibe. Is, there's a chance ninja's cloning people. I don't feel great about Spider-Man's chances. I'm just gonna say it out loud. I don't, like it I I don't like think. It. <laughs> Unless he's got some weird, wouldn't it be crazy if he actually was a superhero and we just kind of doubted him? The Spider-Man, well, he's fighting with something. He's, he's raising the roof. And a death in the family or something that he was getting out. There is a lot more downtime in between these fights. There's like grand entrances. All right, here we go. They should play a Spider-Man theme. I don't know what that would be. He's covering up. Uh, how do we even differentiate? Spider-Man, the... Spider-Man costume full versus Spider-Man on the chest. Half Spidey. Yeah, half Spidey. Spidey on Spidey right now. And I'll tell you what, full Spidey's doing better than I think we yeah. both thought he would do. He's got an unorthodox style where his hands are almost higher than his Spidey, head. He's definitely covering up more than I thought he would be, protecting himself. Good little right there. This isn't going to be an easy fight no. for, for shirtless Spider-Man. Oh, nice little, little left. Yeah, little head bob there, little snap back. Good right there from the ninja's protege. Great defense from Spider-Man. Yeah, and he hit him with the right, and he's, he's defense and throwing. Crowd's reacting to his every shot, too. I mean, he is actually... He's kind of looking like Spider-Man. And he is fighting as though he has fighting experience with the way he's covering up and not letting himself be open, and then throwing punches out of the defense. And in the way he's moving and ducking, yeah. I, like, I think he might be Spider-Man. And both Spider-Mans congratulate each other. That's just that's just the brotherhood right there. When do you think the shirtless Spider-Man decided he was going shirtless Spider-Man? I don't know. That's a good question. And it looks like he's got some sort of three-piece suit cameraman who has more equipment than we do. That can't be our guy. No, you're right. Who is what this the guy? hell is that this guy? guy's cucking Spider's our Spider's right face. in his face. This Get guy. in there, Spider. Ask him who he is. Are they making a movie? <laughs> who, is, who are you? <laughs> who is this guy? Spider got in his grill. Love this that. Guy. They brought their entire own camera crew. Why we kick him off the stage? He's got better footage than we do. Ring girls. Ring girl 18. Yep. Running out of gas, slowing down a little. This must be America theme. Oh, we got it. Okay, yeah, that was ring girl Brianna Lorraine. All right, I got the names it. of the ring girls now. Sandy Cheeks, number one. Okay. All right, let's see. I Ninja, Ninja Junior slump. versus Nate Dog, full Spider-Man. This guy's hands Touch on. Gloves. And again, he goes right, covers up, and throws. He, I think both of us are surprised by how effective he is. I, I'm shocked. Oh, good, good left, good right, body comes across. I think round one went to full Spidey. Yeah. Good duck there, though, from Bearless Spidey. This is tough on the announcers when they're both Spider-Man. Yeah, and Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man here, he's just, his hunched over style is, it's very weird and off-putting, but yeah. it's working. He's got a little hunch, he's got a little blogger's uh, neck going. Also, it's good to wear, you know, the, the belt over. It's almost like protection for the gut shots. True. Backs him up, Spidey. Full Spidey. Headlock, break it. Good clean break right there. Anybody's fight right now. I think I'm giving it again to full Spidey. I do too. I, it, the defense he's playing, very close to call after two rounds. All right, so here's who we got. We got Sexy Lexi, number two. We've got Asszilla, Ass number three. Let's see that ass. And number five is just Emmy. How do you know who's who? Oh, they got the number three is Asszilla. Let's see that ass. 
She gave All right, me there's the ass. She heard, she gave. I'm going to say it. That's paid, Asilla. She delivered, she caught her. That is Asilla. It looks like she's losing her bikini, Dan. Oh, look. She's losing her bikini, Dan. She's losing it. Asilla's swallowing it, Dan. Hey, we got Asilla fans. Dan. Can you see it, Spider? Dan, Dan, Asilla's having, she almost got her. Oh, bikini. yeah. Oh, yeah. But still leaving it. That's a showman, though. No effort to fix it. We have an Asilla fan in the stands. She's got a big just ass. See oh, that? I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Truly nice. beautiful. All right. Uh, yeah, this is the championship round. I don't know what it says. Full Spider-Man just got, if you saw that, helped up by his core. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't have legs. Yeah. That was like a Forrest Gump help up. But he comes right out. He's a little confused. The, the, they're going to clean the ring. The clock is running. They just paused it. I'd say the winner of this round wins the fight. I agree. Here comes Spider-Man with his weird But punch. he comes in, he gets four punches off. That's a good body shot from... Uh, the Ninja, Junior. Oh, nice shot there. Pretty evenly matched fight right now. All counters from Ninja's protege yep. as full Spider-Man leads the charge in with the duck, cover yourself, throw a slow right, left cross. Couple shots, I don't know, the Ninja's hair looks exactly like the Ninja. Yeah, he does. It's, it's crazy, getting messed up a little Which here. is exactly what his hair does. Yeah. This guy has to be his brother or something. And he's getting pushed against the ropes. I think this is full Spidey. I do too. Oh, oh good right, right oh. there. And that could be the fight. It's yeah. that close. Dude, he's got the same haircut. And he's finishing the show. He's finishing it right now. Last 10 seconds. Anybody lands could change it. I got to go full Spider-Man here. I, listen, Dave, I'm hoping for the Ninja's camp their guy didn't just get beat up by Spider-Man. He did, but he's also kind of Spider-Man. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Tough decision. The crowd is not happy. They don't like it. Tough decision. We got to get killed with Spider-Man. It looks like we have, uh, right now, Large standing by with Chief Agitator Kirk Minahan. We're going to hang on on Kirk. We're going to hang on. Uh, Producer Scorsese Pete just told me I'm not allowed to go to uh, large quite yet. Yeah, and, and Pete is just dropping his nuts all over the telecast, says go to Caleb, so I will. Thanks a lot, Pete. Uh, I'm here with the real Spider-Man. Listen, our, our booth had it as you. I personally had it as you. What, what do you think happened? Well, I don't know. I wasn't as aggressive in the beginning. I can admit that. I was feeling it out. We got super hard at the end. You keep hitting me with your glove. Yeah, hey, you know what? <laughs> Team Red, right? So, but hey, you know what? What happens, happens. Maybe, maybe we'll find out again. Who knows? Something that no, no one was talking about is you actually fought in an entire uh, uh, Halloween costume. Yeah, you feel like I that know, affected yeah. you? Would you do that? Would you do that again? Oh, yeah. What's next? <laughs> yeah. I, Spider Man's my favorite, but. I think you might be back if we can avoid depressing storylines. You might be the next one. Hey. We, we enjoyed watching you, brother. I, I love being here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. He's a very likable guy. He's almost too likable. Yeah. All right, so we got the Hunter Raging Cajun Billings for a Scary Barry Cohen. Scary Barry generally brings it. We lost last fought at r, &R 14 and beat the Milkman. Um, he does his best rhyming promos in R&R. &R, so here we go. Will it be an interesting fight? Do we have time to go to uh, large? Am I allowed to go to large, Pete? Let's go to large. All right, guys, have you come to me finally? I'm here with Kirk Minahan, probably one of the toughest guys to impress. Kirk, how impressed you with this rough and roundy? It's your first one. First time. It's fucking wild. It's great. But I will say it's noise all over the place. There's a dressing room back there where a woman is in total silence. Nothing. Cupcake is thinking, ready to destroy. Take all the selfies you want. This is going to be the last time you ever do it. That's Kirk Minahan, one of the best promoters for Rough and Rowdy. Good luck tonight to your girl, Kirk, and back to you guys. And we will get Kirk, uh, maybe actually next fight, he'll come sit down with us. We'll get a backstory of what's going on. Let's actually plan that, Pete. We'll run the uh, thing then. All right, so here we go. Hunter, Raging Cajun Billings from Green Up, Kentucky, versus uh, Scary Barry Cohen. If you've watched a lot of Rough and Rowdy, Scary Barry is a veteran, and he is actually fairly scary. Yeah, Scary Barry, like, like he said, 14 months off. By the way, shout out that guy who just has a shirt that says Cole. 
I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I that's what's that. Here we go. Yeah. And, and Red Glove just said he wants to fight. He's getting Scary Barry right off the top. And welcome to Rough and Rowdy because Scary Barry is coming right at him. But this guy just wanted to fight. And I, you can tell right there he gained his respect. And he's saying, that didn't hurt me, Scary Barry. You're in for a fight. And it looks like he is. And he's throwing some haymakers, yeah. by the way. Saying, come on to Scary Barry. Scary Barry is still coming in, though. Good, good action in the first round. Little headlock action, lets him go. Scary Barry, very gentlemanly like there. Very gallant. Good straight jab, good, oh, oh no. big left. And Scary Barry's hurt. He's very Scary hurt. Barry is down on He's his hurt. own. Oh, no. Scary Barry stumbled, and down oh. he goes. Down he goes. A great combo for Hunter Rage and Cajun Billings. I don't think he's ever fought in this, but this is an up-and-coming guy. He is a good fighter. Scary Barry is very that hurt. that early storm and unload. It's over. And that's it. They say he didn't get up. I don't like that stoppage. I don't like that stoppage. I don't, I don't either. Barry. I, don't I, I like think that he kind of, I think Scary Barry was like no moss. But he said he wanted to go. I know. He oh, did. He's that in. looks like Rico Bosco a little. A little bit, you're right. Uh, put a star on Hunter, Rage and Cajun Billings, because that's somebody who could be in a title fight very soon for Rough and Rowdy. Very soon. He said he didn't care who he faced, he just wanted to fight, and fight he did. I think he's one of the better fighters we're going to have. Yep, that guy knew exactly what he was doing. If you see Ooh. a quick replay that of that knockout. That was impressive. He was knocked out like four times. He, he, he got lower and lower and lower and lower. He's doing the limbo. And Look here's at this. the replay. Oh, that's yep. a great shot. And really, that was the beginning of the end. And he and followed up. Watch the uppercuts. Yep. He, he nails him right here with an uppercut. And he's getting and lower he, oh. and lower. I think he hit him again with an uppercut. Yep. Those are all real shots. Caleb with uh, Scary Barry. Here was Scary Barry. Scary Barry, what happened? Man, they say, hey, we're back. Let everybody down again. I don't know. It just didn't feel But fuck that. Who cares? It's over. I got all my boys fighting after this. We'll make sure they have a good time. We're going to. When you said you let everybody so down, what, who, who'd you mean? Who'd you like, feel like you left everybody, down? You, you fucking came here. They fucking came here. We did this interview last time. Same shit. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I'll do my best to put on a show for you guys somehow the rest of the night to help out. But I. Whatever, you're the man, dude. Appreciate it. Whatever. Good. Yes. A noble in defeat. Yeah, scary uh, Barry. I'm sick and tired of losing. Yeah, but he, he just ran to a, a fight. Yeah. We're here a lot, yes. a lot more for him in the future. So Kirk Minahan has just sat down in the booth uh, as we get ready for Jessica. You're Bellamy. good. I can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm good now. Go ahead. Welcome. Welcome to the booth. Can you hear yeah, us? No, I got you. I got you. Wait, what? Large. Who are you talking to, Large? Oh. You guys with me? Yeah. We're about to make fucking history, guys. It's our first transgender fighter. I did all the light work. It's she, her. It's Brittany, bitch. Brittany, how are we feeling? What's about to happen tonight? My opponent's about to get knocked the fuck out. Absolutely. about to happen. He thinks he's trained hard enough for this fight. He thinks he can hang with me in the ring. But I guarantee you, he doesn't have half the experience or half the stamina I do. I'm going to run over him like a Mack truck, baby. That's big fucking talk from Brittany. I'm telling you right now, I asked if this was OK. She's one tough bitch. Good luck tonight. All right, so that's two fights from now. We got two more fights. Kirk is here. I like this entrance right now from uh, Jessica. Jessica Bella Inc. Painter. Yeah, my producer watched her take selfies during the rough and during the weigh-in last night. He was very interested in this fighter. Very interested. Probably should have to stay around, Dave. But he's horny, very horny. Dave Cullinane is what horny they're Dave Cullinane. Yes, yes. That is what they're as an investor, a go-go dancer, an ink model, lingerie fighter, dressed up as a bull in a bra in a promo video. Versus Kelly Nightmare Stout from Gasaway, uh, and here we go. So the launch. Both evenly matched those oh, tattoos. Oh, here we go. See, up close. Yeah, it's going to be quick. Right. It's going to be quick, Dave. It's going to be quick. It's going to be quick. Too many selfies. Yeah, it's it's not That's a quick. lesson of the night right there, Dan. Look at this. One of those shorts, those are professional shorts from Blue Gloves. I always like when the professional shorts come out. Oh, yeah, the right lingerie the model tent. is in trouble. That was a tough those one. Those are slap punches. How big of a factor are the breasts in this fight, Dan? I think they're a big factor. It's like a, it's like when I try to golf swing and my breasts just get in the way. Are those real? It's hard those, to punch. Uh, I think those are store-bought, Dave. So then could they pop is the question. We're going to uh, find out. Let's hope not. Right now, oh, this, shit. i got to give it to the blue gloves. Oh, for sure. Just missed. For sure, for sure. But a lot of fight left. Kirk, you sat down and, and you called this fight to be over instantly. I was wrong. <laughs> Look, that was wrong. I'm, I say I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I give the girl in. credit. I give the uh, the 
Lundgren. Nicole in the bra promo video, a lot of credit here. Correct. Red Jessica gloves, Bella Ng. Jessica, Jessica Painter. Yes. So, very blue. blue. First, first yeah. round blue. First round blue. So, Kirk, this is your first time at Rough and Rowdy. Insane. Insane. Initial Insane. thoughts. My initial thoughts are obviously a part of the main event tonight. I don't like the fact that the judges were given those cookies, which I think could be a factor if it goes to, if it goes to this. Which I don't think it will. But I didn't see the judge eating those cookies earlier. That's yeah, a fucking Here we go. This girl won a fight already. He was just right there. Oh, that's, that's the beast. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, the yeah. beast. Good for her. So she's trying That's kind of like, that's not dissimilar to like uh, what Deion Sanders did that the same day. Yeah. yeah he, he, played, and, he played football. He, you know. And she's got a different uh, stage name as a ring girl. She was the beast in the ring. Now she's peachy. Oh, what, I like What that. could you do for, I mean, a vendor? What could you do? Uh, the triple crown. Well, Deion, we have on the camera. We have not had anybody win. Uh, both of those titles, yeah. Correct. Hot, we, uh, Hot Wheels goes after it every that's, time. That's, I mean, that's, it's very hard to do. I don't think it's possible. I'll say it right now, I don't think it's possible. All right, round two. Jessica Painter with the bedazzled sneakers as I like well. Those. I like those. All right, round two. First round was close. It could have gone either way. I gave blue, but Ten it could have gone blue. either. Uh, blue won that round. You never know what the judges have. She's controlled oh, the oh. She just got clothesline. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah little well, ankle no. twist though, which I I I've battled sprained ankle she's myself. Not happy. Recently. She's not, not even. Is. Not Worse happy about tripping. She seems oh. to be bl blaming it on blue. No. Oh, blue gloves now on the attack. I, oh, good move. Tie her up a little bit. Splits them up, and here we go. Blue gloves still in control of the fight, and they're laughing at each other. They're a little little ringsmanship. Why didn't we let her fight lingerie if she wanted to? That was that was that was not allowed. I don't know. That has to be allowed. She said she wanted to. I'm asking why not. Maybe it's support of the breasts. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh shit! Get on a swivel. She wasn't ready, and Blue Gloves took advantage. It's like Hagger versus Hearns. It was exactly the same. But you know what? The lingerie model, while taking punishment, Standard doesn't feet. seem to really get hurt. No. Two nothing, blue gloves. A little, she, she goes for the tap. Nothing. Say this about her: she looks good getting her ass kicked. That's true. That's true. But yeah, I got I got a two all right now. No question about it. All right, so we got uh, number fifteen, baby machete, baby machete. Let me say, Jersey Jerry was a fan of her earlier. Baby yeah, machete. Jersey Jerry. Who's number ten? Up. I think number ten's my pick. Number ten is is dessert. Dessert. Straight dessert forward. and number nine is uh, Bashley Bones. Oh, dessert, dessert got vocal there, which I think helps. When they die 70 years from now, six years from now, is this in their obituary? Yes. First paragraph, second if paragraph? If they want it, if yes. You win. Yeah, if you oh, win. You, oh, you think just not being contested? No, 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 you have to order. win. You have to no, win. No, no. We don't give participation trophies. No, I'm, here. Saying, I'm not saying, I'm saying for them. I don't her, know where her, her men works. Her men works. You play to win the game. You That's play fair. to win That's the fair. game. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, third round. So the laundry model is going to need a knockout to win this. Yes. Although we don't know how horny the judges are. A lot of smiles. A lot of smiles. I mean, these two girls came to fight. Oh, no question. Blue. I'd like to see Blue Gloves actually in there versus maybe Cherry Bomb. I think she could do something. Oh, oh right. Oh. Caught her as clean as you can. I'll tell you, this girl's you, got a good, big time chin. If you big can't time knock chin, her out with that punch, you're not going to knock her out because she ate it walking in and kind of nodded. But she has no She's offense. Got guts. She punches like a cat fight, which is not great for a real boxing fight. Tits and guts is a real combination. Yep. It is a real combination. Now that you may put on tombstone. Yes. That's something. Tits, just, I, just tits and guts underneath her tits name. Tits and guts. Yeah. I can see that. That's quite a compliment from Kirk. Lost a great time. They say you're not nice, Kirk. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> And oh, they're swinging to end it. You're right, though. Nope. Slap. Slap. Oh, you got a punch. You got a punch. Slapping. Yeah. See, that's what you do. Egg Kirk on with a little you're not nice, and he starts yelling on his side. <laughs> Those are Alex Bennett punches. I mean, what is that? Speaking of Alex, now, are, are, is the grudge going to continue post-fight regardless? Hug we'll see how it goes. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not a, you know, I'm not. If she, if she begs forgiveness, like at the end of Braveheart. Right? Mercy. Yeah. No, 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 no brainer. So that's you're no going to disembowel her entire family? Well, uh, uh, I will say at this table, only one person has wished for her to die. That's you. I said I it was a shame. Not you. No. Him, him. I said it would be a shame if she died. You did it, you did it in your oh, way. I listen, know. Caleb with Joey it Camasta. It would be a shame. It would be yeah. a shame. You're with Joey Camasta. You just watched a girl fight. I watched a girl fight, and they were, it, I couldn't tell if they were friends or not. They kept smiling at each other, and one of them was a lingerie fighter. Yeah. So I didn't know what that meant, but um, yeah. so when someone's spitting up blood in the in the in the bucket. Mm. A lot of testosterone in here. It makes me feel very, very feminine. I can see you're sweating. Well, I'm getting nervous. People are getting punched in the face. Yeah. Um, people are dipping out. Yeah. I didn't think it was this violent. I thought it was all fake like WWE, yeah. but this is real. 
And what is your first take? Because this is your first time. I'm kind of excited. It makes me kind of want to go in the parking lot and start some shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's, 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 infest it's infectious. Is this something we could ever see you doing? Um, the person would have to be, um, yeah, I could do it. If I, if I get angry enough, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, once I fought, almost fought someone at Whole Foods because yeah. I took my cart. Yeah. So, you know, anything is possible. I feel, like you, I feel like you're maybe more probable than not. Yeah, I got to get real, real angry. Okay. You know what I mean? We're going to keep checking on uh, you throughout the night yeah, to make sure, sure you're doing a good. I'm having a great time so far, and I already met a couple gentlemen in the, rent, in the men's room, so oh, well. th things are going well. You'll always meet some gentlemen there. Back to you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. Always, always <laughs> great credit. We got David Party Boyd Madison versus Michael Skeeter. Great house. Two guys who have not fought previously. Uh, David Party Boyd Madison with a selfie as his image here. He looks a lot more ripped in the picture than what we've Yeah. Oh, real. Well, this is, not this really. Is this the same guy? Yeah, yeah. not really. No, that's the this, this. Oh, no, really? That's party Boy. Wait. Oh, wait. No, that's got to be wrong. No, no, he's all right. Yeah, it is. That's he's Party right. Boy. He's that's all right. Party he's Boy. Okay. No, that's Skeeter. No, that's Skeeter. That's Skeeter. Okay. That's Skeeter. We had the wrong graphic. Uh, but he also doesn't look like anything in his selfie. Well, that he, looks like a mugshot. Yeah. What, that, what does that say? He hooked up with Patty Mayonnaise behind his friend's back? Yeah, that's Skeeter from Doug Funny. That's what? the name of a character in Doug Funny. Okay, here's good. Party Boy. Yeah, Party Boy is ripped. Holds frat basement boxing title. Yeah, he says that's, never lost a frat. That's probably fight. something. Frat guys like to just kind of throw punches at each other. Yeah. This, guy, uh, this Party Boy. For, this, this, is not go, this one's not going in the second round. Party Boy. You got Party Boy. Party Boy. Yeah, I got Party Boy in the first Listen, Party Boy flew from Denver. Party Boy requested the meanest country strong hick you got. One of us will bleed, guaranteed. So he says basically he's just going to go straight at it. Are you worried about those sneakers, Dan? Yeah, no, he's, he looks like Tony Hawk right now. I think he's going to do an ollie, not fight. It's, but he's oh, party boy. He's oh, party boy. I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, no. we Let's see if this has the action that party boy promised. Both of them kind of feeling each other out, but some haymakers. Party boy looks a little timid. I, was, yeah, I think does. I was wrong. I think I was wrong. The big, oh, this isn't good. Well, Here. the guys from the backwoods generally aren't scared of anything. There's a good little right left feeling no. out process. Also, Skeeter seems to have a good pose for boxing. Like he has fought before, yeah, for sure. and he is not scared as no, he goes off his hands. I, I, I was wrong. Party boy's not in the Sigma Chi basement anymore. Skeeter came out with <laughs> his hands up and quickly dropped them once he realized he doesn't have a threat. I on mean, this is, a, this is a pillow fight. What are we doing? We're rough and rough. Here. Well, it's first round. They're feeling each other out. You, oh, he tried to like uh, fake him. Didn't even, doesn't even. Oh, he's dropping his yeah. hands. He's now. taunting him. This is I rude. love it. But this is an even round right now. Yeah, but he's he, what Skeeter is doing is he's just he's letting waiting him punch for him. One he doesn't care. Shot. Yeah, he's waiting for one big shot. There's nothing more emasculating than letting your opponent punch you and it doesn't hurt. You, you can. Can't, it's you brutal. Can see within five five seconds of the fight starting. That Skeeter Greathouse confidence went way up. Yes, yes. I don't know who got that round. Oh, Party Boy's giving us a look yeah, like he's he got a, this. He's a Party Boy. Yeah, he better yeah. fight. Yeah. Oh, Stop looking at us, start fighting. And yeah. they got the full, like, matching kind of out Party Boys. Like a whole like gang of Party Boys. So I, took a go. I took a picture with 12 before that. All right, so 12 is Devan, 13 is Ms. Brinkman, and 8 is Black Diamond. Oh, real, which one do you think is Black Diamond? I'm going to go with the, the Dominatrix uh, outfit. You'd be right. That's why. But number 13, those are also Dominatrix pants. That's true. Not that I would know anything about that, but th that's what I've been told. Federal crime. Of course. If anyone knows anything about it, it's a federal and crime. please call the authorities. Yes. <laughs> See something, say something. All right, here we go, Canadian round course. two. Who did you guys score that? Did you give that the blue corner round one? I, I think it w went to Skeeter, but Skeeter. it was very yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no one did anything. A lot of sweat, though, here. And Skeeter. also, you got to pay attention, because whatever we're saying about Skeeter, he came out with real boxing shoes, which a lot of times do tell a tale of how good somebody is or isn't. Well, the sneakers are insane. I, I don't a lot of people do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we had a guy in with the catering sneakers earlier. Oh, good right, good, good right. True. Party Boy may be gaining a little confidence there also here. also is an element, Kirk, with Ruff and Rowdy. The uh -huh. better or higher quality of fighter, the more careful they are. Which yeah, is yes. great for entertainment. No, more deliberate, more traditional, yeah. yeah. In his corner, Party Boy's screaming at him to push. Oh, oh good right. Oh, first good, first one, first one. Yeah. There you go, there, yeah. there you go. Jesus. I wonder how that's translating at home with Kirk yelling into oh, wait, the, the microphone. I'm just asking. It was a question. They, you know, it's a statement by asking a question. Because <laughs> no, oh, another good oh, right. Good one. But now, you know what? It almost reversed. Like, these, maybe you can't the, hurt me. Party boys. Party boys punches have no impact. No impact. Good right. 
That round clearly goes to Skeeter. You can have it 2-0, 1-1, depending on how you did the first round. Can I compare this to the Hagler Leonard fight where Leonard tried to steal the last round? Yeah, you've but done. Made, but made Is no that the only fight you've ever watched? I love Marvin Hagler. Because you keep talking about Hagler. I mentioned it once before the show. Uh, it's the fourth round. You, know, you, you, know, you saw how old I was earlier? Yeah, 55. Someone said you were 60. It's the gray you hair. That, yeah. I get it. I get it with the gray hair as well. We have Large right now. Right. Let's kick it to Rob right, large. large. All right, we've been talking so much about the Abel brothers and their disgusting accent, but what about the people that's going to be fighting them? This gentleman, Nick Beats Wagner, was the guy, I believe it was Dan's fight of the night last Rough and Rowdy. What's the difference this Rough and Rowdy when you get in there against Zach? I'm not going to let him hit me with the dirty shit, the back of the head punches. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. I'm coming for his soul. I want him riding out of here on a stretcher in a hearse. I don't care how the fuck he gets out of here. He's getting the fuck out of here. All righty. The knockout of the night. I want fight of the night. All right, Rose. You, you got you to us. This is uh, Nick Beats Wagner. All right, round Two three fights. here. Can we make a me Oh, here we go, right off the top. I like it. I, I, if anyone wins this round decisively, you could argue they get the fight. Yeah, I'd agree. No one's done anything that's really impressed me. In one of those moves, Blue Gloves, when he when he caught him, he started banging his chest instead of going in for more. Yeah, I think Skeeter realized oh, he could right. win this fight, and he just didn't go yeah. and win it. I mean, look at these punches, though. I keep going back to that. What is this? I mean, they are trying as hard as they can I don't to throw punches. I mean, we're, we're you want you? I get it. You want to be Hagler Hearns. <laughs> Hagler Leonard. Good right. This is Skeeter's round, I believe. I agree. Uh, Skeeter's gonna win this fight. There's no knockout. The Skeeter wins this fight. Agreed. Oh, oh he dance his last 10 seconds. That was a slow motion. That was pretty good. What was that? Mayweather type defense for a second. Kind of went Matrix style. Couple first booze of the night. We'll always have a couple fights that get booze. This, fight, this fight deserves. Booze. I don't think this fight so. deserves. Disagree. Absolutely deserves. Booze. Yeah. We, do we have a dismal performance? Have we shown the Cole? Have we? And there's Brian Chicken Fry and, and O'Malley, Kelly Key, Kelly adding, Keys. adding nothing of value. Have to the we company. shown the Cole? Have we shown the Cole shirt yet? No, we haven't. We got to show the Cole's guy. That guy is just wearing a very West Virginia. Yeah, shirt. just Cole. Just says He's Cole. A Cole fan. I like that. Yeah. Spider, if you can get him. Um, Kirk, do we miss a decision by the way? Yeah, yeah who won? Quick. It's lightning. It was, it was blue. It was blue, blue corner. All right, so this is the next fight coming up. It's a pretty interesting one. Brittany the Savage Vaughn versus Zakari the Great Mott. Um, Brittany is a she, her, first trans transgender R&R &R fighter. Barriers. Hasn't fully transitioned yet. It's Brittany, bitch. We'll go to war. I'll tear you apart. A, you know, I'm not, not going to say there's a lot on the line for Great Mott, but, I mean, he got no, put, you know, a, there's a lot on the line, Dave. in a pressure Dave, there's situation. There's a lot on the line. Yes, there's How a lot mean, of them. You're just well, saying, in terms of. Well, he, he, you know, he's fighting <laughs> someone who's transitioning. Yeah, sure. right. Okay, yeah. And? This feels like there's a lot on the line. Sure. I'm going to agree with you, Dave. I understand. I understand. I feel like that's a trap me being here, but that's fine. I'm ready no, to No, I was, I was no, going to get in you. I'm, I'm, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm excited to see this. All right, did some I, had nice, I had a nice conversation yesterday you with Brittany. Leave? Now maybe oh, it's hard for you to leave. Kirk, Kirk, I'm going to stay all night. You know, you know there's somebody somewhere with 38 different recording devices. Well, you put right, me here. Yeah, I was right going to say, get off, Kirk. Literally, get off. Literally <laughs> waiting. And I am supporting you. Brittany in this fight. Okay, there we go. So there percent. it is. It's I had a nice, on the record. I had a nice conversation with her last night. She's ready to go. Beautiful. This is, we're, we're breaking barriers. What is going on with By the Paul? way. Brittany was a two-time tough man runner-up in Huntington, so she she can she can fight. Yeah, yeah. And she looks like a badass coming into the ring. Here's Big Brittany. Time. Nine and four record, wearing a black mask on top. Just for just for the record, hasn't fully, according to the notes here, transitioned yet. Hasn't correct. 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 The record. I want the record. Correct. It's Brittany, bitch. It almost looks like. Oh, no, no, I thought there was a uh, like knife in her boot, but it's just the boot. This All guy's right. shorts, shoes combo making him looking extra sh short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those shorts, I learned that. When you don't, you're not blessed great height, high and tight, that's yeah. how you get a couple more inches looks How tall is this guy, 5'5"? Five, five? He is 5'5", five, five, yes. 5'5". Five, five. And Brittany's 5'8". So Here we go. Height. Brittany looks mad and ready to go, um, and they are swinging. Oh, not great balance because they didn't connect. Oh, oh, oh. And they are both going at oh, each other. A action here, Dave. A lot of action here. I like this. Oh, oh, good left. Good one, Brittany. But he, but oh. he took it. He took it. He's fine with it. Nice right there, too. 
the height advantage is definitely helping Big Brittany. time. Pretty even round so far. Good right. Oh, good but right I, there by I uh, think Red Gloves, Brittany just took control of the first oh, one. Oh, oh, good oh. left. As clean, though, and he's walking through it, which means he may think he can't get hurt because you can't get caught cleaner than those punches. Yeah, Zachary Mott has a chin on him. Big time. Good first round. Got to go to Brittany so far, though. Oh, Absolutely. For sure. sure. Oh! Ooh. What's going on? Oh, oh, What's going on? There. I can't tell Brittany's As stunned. As you said it, yeah. Was she stunned? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, oh yeah, oh, good right. Stay by the bell. Okay. Uh, wow. Zachary Mott. I think he stole the round. I think he, that was yeah, an impressive end. That's tough to score that round. I give it, I would give it to uh I'd give that to Zachary there. That's nice. a coin flip to me, that round. Absolute coin flip. All right, here's my favorite, Sandy Cheeks, number one. I feel like Sandy Cheeks hasn't been in the ring yet. Yeah, Sandy Cheeks. This is the loaded one because whoever that is. Oh, yep. that's that's Peach. Peachy. That's Peachy. She goes by Peachy in the ring. Sexy Lexi, number I'm sorry. two. I'm sorry. Oh, just say she's sorry. Peachy now. I fucked up. She was the beast. Now she's Peachy. Got it. Sandy Cheeks gets my vote. Gonna put a pin on that one. All right, round two. Early was round one was pretty right. right Oh, there. There that was right a hell of a I'm right sure that. I'm not sure what this reaction yeah, was. Yeah, that was a It's kind I, of like, a, okay, I can, uh, you can fight. I, I think that was, I'm hurt a little bit. Yeah. So it, it was early Brittany, then the great Mott took over late in the round. We'll see if it carries. And Brittany comes out flying again. This could end in oh, some wow. dastardly. Yes. They are swinging. Nothing landing clean. Oh, good shot. But, now he's getting underneath. Maude is underneath the punches because oh. of his height. Brittany's getting a little wobbly in the knees a with that bit, last one. A little one. bit. One, one big shot could change the tenor of this fight. Kind back of a forward, in. back, good right though from Mott. Yeah, we always see a, oh, Ooh, good yeah, answer nice there, left. good counter. But still firing is Brittany. And there's a good little combo from Brittany. Hang in there, Brittany, hang in there. Pretty even fight so far. Hard fight to score. Just missed there with kind of a little Superman punch. Head down. Both of them starting to gas out this round in an active second round, active fight. Uh oh, sucking some weight there. Yeah, that happens. They both unloaded early. I mean, they both come out at the beginning of the bell. Yep. All yep. of going. Oh man, this next interview should be an interesting one. Uh, let's go to, oh, oh, we got Stu Finer with Large. Finer is second ref from Rowdy, first time in West Virginia. Stu, talk. I'll tell you right now, I've watched every single one of these Rough and Rowdies. This is the most violent and intense Rough and Rowdy we've ever had in my life. I'll tell you right now, these people are hitting so hard. When they get hit, I feel like I got hit. My balls hurt, my stomach hurts, my face hurts. Thank God I'm not fighting. That's all I gotta say. It's amazing! Back to you guys, back to you guys, back to you guys. Hammer angle there, it looked like he looked was like in like a penguin. 90s rap album. He literally looked like the penguin. Yeah. I, think, I think all the ring girls put together have less makeup on than Stu has. On. Yeah, he is a tremendous right amount here, of that's Canadian. A, so the Canadian who's fighting is Dubs a tonight, he's a rugby guy, and I guess uh, our security guard Mike was telling me they were all getting hammered last night at the bar. He's got like 60 Canadians. Yikes. I think Dubs is in serious, serious trouble. Yeah, the, the move around trouble. camp is that the Barstool fighters are in big trouble. You yeah. got time out before. You Who hate knows? To see it. You hate to see it. Uh, there were rumors Doug's kind of had a fall down, can't get up moment, but I don't know. Uh, that feels like a, that feels like an issue to me in the in the in the, in the fight. Yes, game. I would say so. If you fall down and can't get up, oh, oh big right, shit. and let's see if you can finish it. Fall up. That was the biggest punch it of the was fight. Sure. But yes. Brittany Great. seems Brittany, to be though. bouncing Brittany. back. Another right. That one wasn't as clean. Uppercut misses. And, oh, a big oh. left stuns Brittany. That one caught her clean. Yeah, but she is up. eating these with strength. Those are two very strong, clean punches. And you can see her eyes bobble in that one. But right now, Mott has taken control of the fight. And you got to think it's his to lose. Brittany's tough as nails right now. And battling back, uh -oh. Uh, uh -oh. gas? I don't yeah, know what just, that just was. Gas. Ref did kind of a favor there by- Two hand, backhand. Body shot. Great effort right now by both fighters. I gotta say Moth though on the strength it's of those fight. two it's punches. It's his fight. Oh, and he's oh. finishing it against the ropes. Oh, good little shot there from Mott. Bobbing and weaving, good fight. Got to give the fight to yeah. uh, Mott, yeah. Zachary the Great he might, Mott. He might be the total package. He took some good punches. 
Gave out some good ones. Said it. The right decision. That's crowd's right. booing, but the right, right decision. You're right. Yeah. I'd watch him fight again. He was an yes, action fighter. I agree. I agree. They were I both agree. action fighters. I'd watch them both. All right, Kirk. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, Kirk. You. Thank you very Bad much. Luck. Boys. Bad luck for you. I'm rooting for uh, gonna, Bennett. It's, it's going to be. It's not going to be good. I'll see you guys later. All right, All right thank Kirk. You. Thank you for everything you've done for this uh, pay-per-view. It's been great. The grudge. We didn't have a grudge. We needed a grudge. Kirk created stepped a, in. Created quite the grudge. A, a, a grudge against I, the whole entire family. I talked to Alex earlier. I think Alex is definitely like out to prove something to herself. But she's like, if I lose, I lose. I hate hearing that from yeah. a fighter because you got to convince yourself you can't lose. I, I think there might be a hashtag. Kirk was right at the end of the night. If that, if that ends up being the case. All right, Caleb, you were with uh, the loser here. Going to the doctor. Yep. Yeah. Where are we, where are we walking to? I don't know. I thought we were supposed to walk to the doctor. Oh. Here, just, just sit with me for a second. Let me give you this dew wipe so you can wipe down if you need anything. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. You look pretty clean. What do you think about that fight? Uh, you know, going from. Uh, <laughs> An MMA fight to a boxing fight, I had to, I, I, I was trying some uh, silly shit out there, so. Like what, like what was it, what, what were some of the silliest things you felt like you did? Uh, probably, uh, I lost some points because I, I made a couple uh, errors. Well, that's undeniably silly, but what were some of the real silly things you were thinking about? Um, well, I re Just say it. I really wanted to just kick him in the face. And why not? Because uh, this is boxing and uh, not uh, MMA or Muay Thai. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Are we going to see you back? What? Are we going to see you back out here? Oh, yeah, definitely. We enjoyed having you. We enjoyed having you. I'm, I'm glad I was had this opportunity to participate, and I'll definitely be coming back. And, and you want to do a quick Dude Wipes ad for us? Just say what you like about Dude Wipes? Um, Yo, dude, dude, do wipes are where it's at. Agreed. Back to you guys. And here we go. Oh, we got baby. Abel. We got Spencer Muerte Blanco. Abel, who shook me down for five grand earlier, had an all-time fight and interview. He just got a little twist in the ring. But you know what? He may be better because we saw the guy who beat him, who was pretty good. He's fighting Nicholas Roadhouse Cobb. And I love the Abels. Yeah. I love them. No, they're electric, the twins. Uh, they also look like they've lost a little bit of weight, maybe taking this a little bit more seriously after getting gassed out. Okay, so this guy's a little bit of a crazy guy. He walked right through our security to take a, uh, try to take a dump in our green room, and kind of no one stopped him. I, he's got, he had some crazy eyes when I, when I he caught looks eye like contact. He could be the West Virginia mascot. Yeah. Roadhouse cop. Wearing some Jordans, Doesn't know who Patrick you're, you're, Swayze is. You're a sneaker guy. Yeah, no, those are some Jordans. Those are some nice Jordans. I think those are Jordan 4s. People are going to get mad if I got that wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm a Jordan 1 right, guy. All right, here we go, Abel. One of the all-time fight, first fight appearances. We knew we had to get him back. He made five grand, 500 today just showing up. He definitely lost weight. He definitely. definitely lost weight. He was the one with that stomach that was spectacular last yes. time. We maybe guilted him into losing weight. I, I think I might have. Oh, boy. No touch gloves, by the way, there. And they're going right at it. Push him and able to oh. get on the defense, but he's getting puffed. He's got him wrapped up and trying to stop the momentum. Spencer able with a nice forearm to the throat there to start the fight. And he gets a little talking to from the ref. Well, that was a weird punch. Little left. So able. Oh, and he no. just got slapped. Oh, no. Damn, he just got slapped. Oh, no. He's back up, but he's wobbly. He ate a big one. He's back up. Is this fight going to continue? The other guy's dancing on him. He says all right. he's all right. He says he's good. I don't know if he is. No, good. he is. He's good. He says he's good. Dan is able good. He may never be good. He's come back. He leans all the way in. Yeah. See how his ball. Oh. Did he get hit or just I, that fall? That was there? a fall. That was a fall. He is leaning in way too much. So if you get hit, it's like triple the weight. He's crossed side. all the way in. He's Somebody just came now. by with us with the camera. I don't know who that is. All right. Not he's still good for able. He he's says he's still good. good. It, and that's the end of round one. Let's get the replay on oh, that. Oh, no, Dave. He looks cross-eyed to me. Thank God he got that $5,000. Let's see that. Let's see the replay. That was, uh... You know what this was, Dave? He got crumpled. Where's the punch? 
Oh! He got crumpled. Oh. He got crumpled, and then that, oh. and then he, <laughs> he fell on caught up on his elbow. You know, that was a big. That was shot. a crumpling. I'll tell you what we're seeing tonight. We're seeing some guys get knocked out and come back from the dead. Yes. Abel got, and, and that is a technique I remember him having. He leans all the way in. It's yeah. like, and he just has his face just sitting there, <laughs> ready to just get smashed. He is begging, but that's what makes great fights. Nobody's coming here to see go, people go distance. So here's round two. Round one couldn't have gone worse for uh, Spencer Muerte Blanca Abel. Great boxing nickname they gave him, Muerte Blanca, but he stinks. At least right. after that first round, hopefully he comes back. A little better posture there where he's not leaning directly oh, into Oh, no, the uppercut. lead's coming, Dave. Don't worry. Oh, oh. see, he leads with his head. His, his head is ahead of his body almost. Mouthpiece out. Spencer, Spencer Abel's getting, he just took another big yeah. shot. Oh, we got the cockiness coming from Nicholas Cobb. He's doing a little Conor McGregor on him. His dad's in the corner here for the Abel. I know. Man. We like him. No blood though yet, and here he's leaning in. If he can, if the other guy, the Mountaineer, that's the punch you gotta watch out because yeah. he leans in and opens a wild uppercut. I think Spencer Abel's only real. But he's move. back. Spencer Abel's back a little bit. Yeah, he's just going with his forearms trying to push him. Oh, and there's that oh. uppercut again. He's and gonna get he's, crumpled again. Oh, he's, he's gonna get crumpled I, again, Dave. Credit right to him, he's just running <laughs> right at him. <laughs> that's like why we like him, and his belt is off on the Mountaineer. I don't know what that means. Hey, listen, he may tire him out. And he's all caught up in his equipment right now. He's, he's, he's fighting his ass he's, off. He can't even move. He's in like a, he's in some sort he's of Harry Houdini, He's Harry Houdini in the yeah. straight jacket. <laughs> all right, here we go. I don't know who that helped that break. Oh, oh. he pushes him around. It, uh, to Abel's credit, it doesn't matter. He just keeps coming forward. He's, he is everything you love about Rough and Rowdy because he's not a great fighter. He gets crumpled, but he never stops going. Still, I mean, he was knocked out. All right, Large, what do you got quick in between here? All righty, so we got the uh, prime time. I think he's looking past Doug's because he just asked me to do a shot of uh, whiskey pig with him, a whistle pig with him. And there's a new fucking rivalry brewing before this fight goes off. Who are you calling out? Calling out that loud mouth, Biz Nasty. Runs his mouth, calling out a Canadian. We got a fucking Canadian to answer the bell, Biz Nasty. After this one, when I'm done with your boy, Dougs, I want you, or you pick another unit, because I'm coming for the next one, with or without you. That's fucking prime time. Pretty cocky. Good luck tonight, my man. All right, round three coming up. Spencer Marte Blanca Abel was knocked out cold, but came back out. And I, again, give big credit to these guys. You see them getting cold cocked in, uh, it's Abel incredible. got right back up, got his wits about him. Actually, that second round, you could argue. Yeah, you, you it would could. would be a tough argument, maybe. I think we are a little biased, well, but you like could Abel. argue. I do like Abel. Let's okay. see if he can win. He's all game right here. All game right in there, and Abel's carrying the action here in the third. Maybe he can tire him out. Nice and he's duck. leaning oh. forward. See, he's leaning forward so much. If he gets caught, it's, it's tough not to go down. But he also is putting a lot of weight on him. Oh, see, oh, that no. uppercut's where he could get in trouble. The push. Now he's going with the push. All right. I don't hate it. He's gathered himself for yeah. this fight. It looked like he could have been nighty-night, but he's come back strong, and now he's controlling the third round, to be honest. He's going with the two-hand push and the forearm shiver, and it's not. It's kind of effective. Connected see, a little bit. See, there's a forearm. Definitely tired. Oh. A lot of stumble. Oh, good right. Uh -oh. And another one. And now he runs forward like that. Oh, and he does a little, oh, and he got <laughs> a, little a little pirouette, he a little pirouette. He tried to flip him, and he ended up flipping himself. A little pirouette into the ground. He doesn't have the greatest footwork. He, uh, I got to see that replay. He, he was trying to get him on the hip and, and, and basically take him down MMA style. He took himself down. Anybody who wants more Abel, don't be sad. The next fight is Nick Beats Wagner versus Zach Assassin King Abel. So the second Abel. The Abel's yet to win a fight in Rough and Rowdy. Yes, the Abel's are, look at this. He gets him on his hip, and he's like, I'm going to flip him and just kind of put himself to sitting it's down. A, it was a pirouette. <laughs> I love the Abel's. There's nothing like they are the perfect Rough and, and Rowdy fight. Here we fighters. go. Caleb's got, uh, he's got. Went to Blanca Abel. I'm, I'm here with one of the Abels, that's for sure. There's uh, the flu game, the flake gate, 
and the crumpling. That's what we're calling tonight, the crumpling. Right side. Who's calling a side? They're saying that you got crumpled. Uh, who's saying that, dude? I need a name. Big Cat specifically. Uh, I don't want to share Big names. Cat, I'll see him in there. But actually, who I really want? Aaron Carter. That dude's fucking celebrity boxing. Says he wants someone his own size, dude. I'm 5'10", 170. Get that little pussy in here for me next. Yeah. December 2nd, Charleston, West Virginia. And what are you going to do different? Because we, we want to see you back. You're a guy we want to see back. Well, dude, I, I need to take training serious. Like, my, I had a newborn daughter last time, so didn't get to train because I'm with her. But I'll be taking The sandals trip seems up for grabs. The crowd is going nuts right now. Dude, come on. Come on. Caleb, don't be putting that sandal shit on me, dog. I'm just saying we're both, you guys are fighting as a family, you're fighting for a family, but right now the crowd's going nuts. It's USA chance. Let's back to you guys. USA versus Canada rivalry brewing. We do, and we also have the dudes, Dude Wipes uh, double wipeout of the night, double feature replay that we're going to play real quick. The Abel brothers deserve all the replays, so let's play that right now. Thank you to Dude Wipes, our great sponsor. Oh, and he just crumpled himself. That's the only way you can describe it. I like how Spencer Abel just not only called out a celebrity, but I think he invented an event that we don't have. The Charleston, West Virginia. December 2nd, with a date. <laughs> That's Abel know. Brothers. Well, it, it, the police slowly moving o o uh, over to this rivalry. This, I didn't know it got heated like this. Our guy Doug's right. called out anybody from Canada, and now it is getting heated. This may be the Abel we thought was fatter. Yes, yes, you're right. That actually kind of confused me. Because Zach, Assassin King Abel. Oh, no, oh, here no. we go. Oh, wait, no, this is wrong fight. Wrong fight. This is Nick Hall. Oh, okay, so we're not. I actually like that we're spacing out the Abel. I think they just forgot him. Yeah, I think they just forgot about the other Abel. Because the other Abel looked like he was getting ready to walk out. Yes. I think we have a mis. Uh, we. Oh, Jesus Christ. So Nick Huckamamia Huckins is fighting Justin Trapzilla Blair, who is huge, huge. He's returning to the ring finally after 10 months sober. Last time he fought, he lost to Bobby Lang. Um, he lost to Huckamania at an arm wrestling contest. So these guys have uh, done things against each other before? Yeah, so they, they had an arm wrestling. Trapzilla, you remember, they had lost to Bobby Lang. Sober now. Look at those trunks, Barcelona Sports, R&R. &R. Love it. And Nick Huckamania, Huckins. All right, so we gonna, they know they skipped the other Abel, I hope. Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to get the other Abel. All right, better. here we go. Cut them loose, as they say. So they already arm wrestled, and Blue Gloves won. Yes. Which is kind of surprising. It Although is I guess he's got huge arms. They say popcorn muscles, Joey Porter. And he's coming on the attack right now. So Trapzilla, 10 months sober, congrats, Trapzilla, male stripper. Great trunks. trunks. Great trunks. Great trunks. Kind of a. Oh, oh, and he just crumpled him. And that's going to be an ACL. Yes. That has to be a major oh, ACL. Oh, man, was he backwards. Oh, and there. he just did the throat slash. He's throat slashing him, Dan. His He's knee throat slashing him. was yeah. not in a good no, spot. No, you don't have an ACL. You no. never had one to begin with if you survived that. <laughs> Big right. And oh, oh there this it is, is again. not going to go very far. And the ref stops at standing eight. By the way, he just stopped Carnage. That was a very good stoppage by the ref because. Uh, Trapzilla was ready to go. Yeah, and blue. Uh, and it, this doesn't look good. He no, he's glove. not even moving. Don't touch gloves, yeah. my man. Oh, oh, God, got it down. He goes. That's it. That's all she wrote. Oh, Trapzilla, he punched his own vicious, glove vicious, off. And he's doing the throw I slash. Wow. Yeah. Trapzilla, sober Trapzilla is a scary, scary yeah, yeah, beast. Yeah. Justin Trapzilla, Blair. Back after 10 months sober, we got the Tweety Birds playing. Oh, that was I'm, a nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sure that Huckamania Huckins has his knows where he is quite No, we got to get Caleb with him. Oh, he just put his hand yeah, up. Yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, and he was going to take it. That was a little. Can we see that knockout again? That Huckamania thought he won that fight. For people who don't know, they play the Tweety Bird sound in the arena when the guy in the red was out. All right, we got uh, Large with one of the Abel brothers. Absolutely, looks like they skipped over this gentleman. He's about to enter the ring now. How are we feeling after seeing your brother take one on the chin? I wish you were one. You can do better than that, but it's all right. I'm gonna go in there and get the job done. <laughs> lack of intensity, but no lack of lovability. Good luck tonight, my man. 
you could hear him talk forever. Yeah, you really and they have a podcast. Caleb? I told you. Caleb? Yeah, Caleb's. Who's putting these fights together, brother? Huh? Who's arranging these fights? You think it's fair? Of course. Put me up against anybody. You think that, do you think that you actually won that one? I won in the heart. Yeah. What, what were you seeing? It seemed like you were seeing a lot. Are you, 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 Nick. Fucking uh, <laughs> seven up. <laughs> I'm the only one that won up in the arm wrestling world. So I said, fuck it. And what, what do you, you only once? And what do you mean? He won an arm wrestling challenger. Arm wrestler. Yep. And he, he, he I stepped up. I don't care. Yeah. I'm here to fight for everybody back home. Yeah. And, and you think they're proud and stuff like that? I'm fucking extremely proud. But what about them, you think? They're absolutely proud. I think they would be. I, I didn't quit. Be. I don't quit. TK up, guys. All right, back to you. All right. He did not know what happened. All right, here we go. Now the able brother. Now this is peak male physical specimen walking in the ring. If, Zach the assassin able. If, if you're watching the Rough and Rowdy with your girlfriend or wife, maybe put them to bed because you're going to see a man do some work. And, and just to correct that graphic, it says still owed an accent bonus. I believe you paid that. Yes, I did. I paid the accent bonus. For those who didn't catch it up, Dave gave the Able Brothers, I think he gave Spencer $5,000. I gave both Able Brothers $500 for the accent bonus because I could hear them talk forever. I was going to say they have a podcast. I went to listen to it. It was quite provocative. It was quite pro The first two episodes that I saw were one was titled just George Floyd and the other was titled China Caused COVID. Yeah. And I was like, okay, these guys go hard in the paint. It, it a little bit reminds me of Creed Thoughts. Like, yes. this would just be out to nobody. Yes. All right, so we saw this guy interview Nick Beats Wagner, promised the knockout of the night. He's 31 versus 27. One and one record for Nick Beats Wagner. Two and one for uh, the Assassin King. So, so here we go. So this this is a rematch. Nick beats Wagner and, and, and Zach Abel. They had the gas out. Nick beats Wagner said he lost 12 pounds. He looks a lot better, but fireworks will ensue. Oh, these, I didn't realize this is a rematch. Rematch. All rematch. right, here we go. Rematch. And they both come out swinging. No love lost between these two. And they are swinging. Oh, good left from Abel. Good left. And he almost went backhand. And now the crowd is loving the action. The Abel brothers always bring it. Early action, we could be headed to a gas out at this pace, oh, though, Dan. Oh, was body the first shot, one. body shot. Slow down a little bit. They got everyone going, and then yeah. you never know what happens. This looks like this could be, you know, part two coming a lot like part one. They both look a little bit. Oh, he did push him. Oh, push him. Oh, oh, Dan. Oh, oh, my God. He pushed him right over the road. A hundred miles per hour. And it was a flip <laughs> over I've the I've never road. seen it in Rocky Rowdy history. I don't think Abel knows what happened. He got knocked on his leg. He said, what happened? He did a total 180 over the ropes. That can't be illegal. That that was King Kong Bundy, WrestleMania. Throw him over the ropes and you win. And now he's taking advantage. I think Abel's a little bit stunned that that happened. And how could you not be? But have you seen what? This is what made him mad. Oh, <laughs> Nick oh. Wagner. So this is what Nick Wagner was so sick of Zach Abel just laying on him. He was like, oh, enough is enough, and shoved him across Let's the see. room. We gotta see that replay. That that's the first time. We got a hell yeah mean. All right, let's get that replay. So Look he's just this. leaning on him. Said, no moss. <laughs> That's blocking sled all the way oh. over the ropes. Surprisingly <laughs> uh, elastic by the Abel brother. Unbelievable. The crowds go wild. <laughs> and then, by the way, the Abel didn't know where he was for a second. It's like you woke up from a nap in the middle of the day. You don't know where you're at. Like just totally over the ropes. I like too uh, that the guys, the guys sitting in the front, front row, just like yeah. slightly put up their hands. Like that's not going to stop an yeah. able brother if he's coming oh, at you 100 God. miles an hour. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Totally over. These guys might need to fight every single rough and round. <laughs> they bring they hate new. each other too. They absolutely bring you something new every time. Well, who wants to be thrown over the ropes like WWE? That was literally a Royal Rumble move. <laughs>
And you saw it coming a mile away. Yeah, because, the blocking score. Yes, because he's doing it again. Yeah. Zach Abel's just leaning on him, and he's sick of it. I don't even know who won that round. I don't now either. Now he's complaining to the ref. He says, Leo, I'm like, I'll throw him over the rope. Looks like he's trying to get his glove off almost there, biting it. And he's leaning on him with all that mask. It's a boxing technique. These two, no love lost. We may need three, four, five of these. It's, it is, it, the trilogy will be, oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> and they're into the front row. And it happened again. The cookies. And it happened again. <laughs> he's twisted in half. <laughs> and now they both are caught. The Abel's, the Abel brothers says. Awesome. They're both down. This is the trilogy. He wants the money. He's asking for the money mid fight. He's asking for the trip. The, oh, the, Abel's asking for the money to sandals. The Abel brothers says. doing the money side. Anything you can do, I can do <laughs> better. It's just, this the fight is so much better with a little. They're both getting a talking to. They went into. They went into Alex Bennett's muck, mom's cookies, the water. They came all the way in their lap. All the way over the wrap. They're asking, "Are you all right?" Oh. Here we go. Unbelievable. <laughs> and then and then Abel says, "I want money getting out of there." Yeah. He was doing, He was looking right. <laughs> oh, in the and face. right. He just got clocked. <laughs> He just got clocked, and then he comes back. This is turning out to how many sequels are better than the original? How many sequels? He it's got Godfather 2. These two hate each other. <laughs> they are just oh, out of gas. Oh. They're both gassed out. And we have another round. <laughs> yeah. He's laying it on the ropes. Abel's taunting them as they go. We got to see the replay on that. I'm crying. How I'm can they beat crying. this? How can they beat this? Let me see that replay. <laughs> They were in our lap. And Look at this. <laughs> he just split him in half. <laughs> they both tangled. <laughs> He's hitting him on the ground. Yeah, he kept on fighting. <laughs> right through, through the E and the whistle. They're going to have to have a special. They need a steel cage. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got to see that again. That replay, that angle. Oh that was incredible. He's, they're punching each other a little and bit. And Jerry's on the ground. patting him on the back. <laughs> like, good job, get, fellas. Get off Look the at table. this. Look at this, oh. Dave. Uh -huh. They just became a pretzel and just <laughs> went together and just. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. <laughs> they, uh, have, they have a standing offer to fight every yeah, third round. Yeah. Third round up for grabs. There's absolutely no way to score this fight. It's total, there's complete no, chaos. There's no way to score it. The fact that Abel gave me the money sign, he's still doing it. <laughs> he looked you dead in the he's eye. He's saying, I want to go to Sandals. <laughs> Not even with the sandals. Oh, oh. they uh, seemingly throw big punches. Yeah. But they just get the oh, oh, no. we almost, Yeah, we need if we had the live sports book odds, they go over the top rope again <laughs> would be a great prop. Now face oh. wash for yep, they're one. smushing the Juan Howard. Now they're both gas, so anything is on the table. He's still throwing. Anything is on the table. Uppercut. I have no idea whose fight this is slap oh, from Abel. Now they're just hugging. They both have no energy. Face wash. Face with a gas. This is so gas. How can you not be? Oh, good little this, slow motion right. It's <laughs> it's rare that one fight is worth every dollar of the pay-per-view. This is worth it. Unbelievable. Well, this Abel's going to hold you to that. By yeah. Way. That, that, he's going to go, oh, no, he's no, he's getting him. Punches. He's <laughs> getting him. Slow motion punches. Big brother. They are both absolutely gassed. What and a that's fight. it. Absolutely a tremendous fight. Great action, great sports. We need the trilogy. Holy moly, holy Unbelievable. moly. Let's see who, I know Lard's on deck. Let's see who the winner is. They both have their hands up. He's flexing with nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oh, Abel gets the there win. There it is. They love it. They love it. They love it. Unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Fight of that the night. Flex too at the end. He's flexing a cream cheese <laughs> body. Unbelievable. Oh my God! I was in tears. I can't tell if they're the least or most self-aware people on I, the planet. They're just—it's rare that you see it, but like when you see it, and we knew it right away when we saw the Abel brothers in Rough and Rowdy 17. They are stars. Uh, stars. My, my head is pounding from the excitement. Uh, I know we have large. We're gonna wait a minute though with. And she's with, he's with Brianna Chicken Fry, but we gotta get we gotta get Abel right now. I am with the winner, and maybe the winner of a sandals trip. I'm with the whole family. It's a family. Affair. Maybe the best fight we've ever had in Rough and Rowdy. 
How do you feel? I just no, 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 no. I want to dedicate this to my dad and his whole side of the family. Last month we lost our grandpa, our dad, so this goes out to all the Abels, especially Grandma Bev. And his dad's skinny fighter. Yeah, oh, he's my grandpa's dad. His grandpa was a street You seem like you guys got a lot of family. Oh, yeah. What, what was it about the ropes that you wanted to go over so much? I I don't know. It's just when you're in there, shit happens. But that's literally never happened one time. Been fights with me, yep. Caleb. But the yep. skirt, uh, not skirt. The kilt looks good, buddy. Yep. Yeah. You guys, what do you guys want to say anything to Dave and Dan? I know you shook no, them down we before. We love you guys. We love Dave and Big Cat and Robbie. Get well soon, buddy. We wish. I hope you are here. You guys are magical. We want to see you back December second. Confirm uh, fight. Aaron Carter, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All class. Oh, mutual. Oh, okay, the love is real. real quick. Sure. Oh my God. Oh, we have one oh, last December, thing. I'm fighting Space Monkey. That's a fat kid whose body turns different colors of red. He's been calling me out on the socials, so I'm got, I gotta take dig the grave a little wider, a little shorter. I got him. I got good news for you, brother. I got bad news for you. This fight's going to a trilogy. Is it why I'm 2-0? Oh, why? What's the point? Me beat him a third time? No one wants to fucking see that. Put just me in there with the space monkey. Let's go. Brianna chicken fry. That's a trilogy. That's a trilogy. Large. Large. All right, guys. Yep. I'm here with Brianna chicken fry. This is her first fight. That she, you just saw one of the greatest fights in the history of Rough and Rowdy. How's this going, Brianna? That was the most insane fight I've ever seen. I've never felt more energy than I felt in this fucking room. I'm ready for someone to fucking die. Brandon Chicken Fries into it. The whole fucking crowd is into it. This is the greatest rough and rowdy I've ever been to, hands down. Back to you guys. All right. We got uh, Hot Wheels. Casey Hot Wheels Wheeler versus Karen Showtime Chernovic. Uh Hot Wheels finally gets off the cherry bomb. Although she didn't fight Cherry Bomb last time either, right? No, she did not. So, so Cherry, Hot Wheels needs a win because yes. she lost last time. And, and, and if you re uh, oh, don't yeah, remember yeah. Hot Wheels, she's all action. Wait she just throws and throws. Uh, oh, we got something Show different? No, but Showtime, God hates a coward on that. Showtime what? looks like she is ready to fight. God hates a coward is an all-time saying. And what does it say on the front? She wants what does it say on the front, Spider? She wants to be recruited by WWE. She says she's going to put on the highlight reel and KO her. She says she wants to end her boxing career, ring girl career, and rearrange her face. Hates how much Hot Wheels whines about the judges. It says RIP someone. What does it say, Spider? Just ask him to show it. We got Abel just came to say hello. All right. But God hates a count. Rip Mom. Okay, so Rip Mom. Huge, I thought it's, yeah. Huge height advantage. For Hot Wheels. Oh, this is from that camp. That's the guy who trains our little person champion. Yes, it's the yes. motherfucker. They, right. they have a tough act to follow, Dave. But All Hot right, Wheels so, throws. Yeah, she's an action fighter, which we love. And so far, she's thrown every single punch. But God hates a coward is moving forward and is not being slowed down by Hot Wheels punches. My head is pounding. Oh from the my last God, fight. Dave! I can't. I, I. Hot Wheels, good left, good right. Some actually like quality jab work there yeah. from uh, Blue Gloves. Nothing huge happening yet. Good kind of right. You know, I don't know. I can't tell if Hot Wheels just, she's a lot of action, but maybe not a lot of power. Yeah, not a lot of power. Lot. Yeah. This is her round so far, though. Oh, good Ooh. fake. Feign the uh, body or head and connect the other way. Every punch so far has been Hot Wheels landing, but doing no real damage. Yep. But it's all her. This is a points round, no doubt. 10 seconds left in the first round. Dude. God hates a coward having trouble getting inside. Yep, big time and just caught a couple. Hot Wheels loads up, doesn't connect all Hot Wheels round one. Dave, I I could watch Abel Brother highlights for the rest of the night. I, I'm, in, I'm still, they're everything I ever wanted in fighters. Ring girls coming in. What do we got? We got number one. That's your girl, Dan. Yep, that is uh, Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks definitely got it going. Oh, oh right and that's in front of the That's the beast. Peachy. Right? No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. is Seventeen. It? Yeah, what she can't put on this glasses. Girl she lost her shoe. Oh no. She lost her shoe. How about that? Dropped a split right in our face. Right in our face. That's she does it all. Very intimidating if you're another girl out there. Right? Yeah, you have to split. 
you have to do something to match the split. Maybe put your, your Wait, leg over your head. So we have Cherry Bomb in Hot Wheels Corner. Yeah, interesting. Yep. I thought they were bitter rivals. That, you know what that is? That's Creed Balboa. Yep. Round two. Still all Hot Wheels, I'd say. I, she just can't get inside. Uh, don't. God, we haven't, coward, yeah. yeah, we haven't seen if Blue has power because you can't connect. But she is coming, coming in. Coming here, yeah. She keeps coming. Oh, asking for more is Hot yep. Wheels. Oh, the line in the sand. I love that. She drew the line in I the sand. I love that move, line in the sand, but that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, good right, right there, best. Another one. Two best punches, three in a row. Loading up here is Hot Wheels. Yeah, I he, mean, you yeah, can't get punched like that after drawing the line in the sand. I do like that move. That reach, she's just staying outside her power, and it's all, all Hot Wheels right now. Good oh, nice. punch. Yeah, nice on Good the other hit. She's pointing at her death. She's pointing at her death. That was a great line in the sand. <clears throat> All right, so this is 3G, third round. Use code RELAX10 online at 3G.com for 10% off the entire day of event. Uh, ends at midnight, not valid with any other discounts or coupons. Limit one use per customer. Can I see that line in the sand again? Well, here we go. Number five, Astley. I like that name, Astley. What did, what did uh, Jer Jerry just do? I don't know, what did? I think like maybe put money in her. That's a problem, too, because I gave him my wallet to hold, so that was probably for my wallet. The judges didn't like it. Yeah, he gave her 100 for my wallet. That's too bad for me. Here's line the replay, in the, sand. the line in the sand. Oh. But again, it's tough to do a line in the sand when you haven't landed a punch. Yeah. I do like the thought behind it. Bam! It says, come on in, and then she kind of came in and just tattooed her. <laughs> oh, Hot Wheels, nice. Yep. Combo. And this is kind of how it starts. She's just been coming in, but she can't get in on Hot Wheels, who has a lot more experience in the ring. She said, uh, Blue says you're gonna rearrange her face. It just has not happened that way. Nope. It's been a pretty easy victory for Hot Wheels so far if it continues. She's just pointing her death. Yep. She's using her as a human pinata right there. Again, I don't know that there's a ton of anger, but they're all landing flush. Oh, oh, nice that's landing flush. Doesn't seem to push her back. Face wash, face wash. Again, it, it's the same movie over and over. Yep. Here comes a clean flush shot. Right there, bang, oh. every time, every time. And there it is, all, all Hot Wheels. Easy, easy. 3-0 victory. That was a dominant performance from Hot Wheels. She needed one of those. She needed one of those. Crowd loves it because they're Love friends it. with her. Yep. The, the ring girls. We got Austin, Irish, Dave Portnoy, Carey. Now, he won big KO of the night last time we fought. And Frank Plus, in the background there just... Mm -hmm. Mike Frank. Hammerhead Barton hasn't fought in many years, used to dominate RR. &R. School teacher didn't show up the weigh in, filmed his promo inside a closet. Okay. Oh, I remember Irish Day Porter. Yeah, you knock out of the night. Uh, oh, Caleb's got Hot Wheels for a second. You, you got to feel like something's at stake here for you, Dave. That's my name, yeah. yeah. All right, Caleb. I'm here with Hot Wheels. Got a big Hot Wheels hug. Sorry. Listen, you absolutely destroyed her, but I think what everyone in the audience is looking at is is cherry bomb in your corner. What is that all about? She was, uh, she wants to see me win. She wants that trilogy. So it only benefits her. I'd rather have her in my corner than my opponent's corner. Is that a little weird though, knowing that you're trying to beat her ass? Well, I'm trying to beat that person's ass to get cherry bomb. And you did, so are we lined up for a cherry bomb part three? Trilogy, yeah. Providence, Rhode Island, December 9th. Yeah, I want to just one more thing. Thanks to Barstool, my fans and my coach and my teammates for believing in me. I had three straight 
losses in a row, so I really appreciate the opportunities that you've given me. Sometimes the cherry bomb losses don't count as much. We're very excited to see round three. Back to you guys. All right, big win there for Hot Wheels. She needed one. She yep. needed one. Yeah, and she convinced the thing. All right, we got large. All righty, so we're about to come up to our first little person fight of the night in just one more fight, and I'm here with beautiful Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, how do we feel about going into this fight tonight? Third generation uh, fighter right here. What do we feel like? I feel confident. I feel good. I. I'm ready to go in there and give it all I got. All right, excellent. Any predictions? What? Any predictions? Nope. Just wishing, hoping I win. Absolutely. So that's Bobby Joe. She's coming up in two fights, guys. Good all luck, right. though. So this fight, we got Austin Irish, Dave Portnoy, who didn't be proud with the name, with a knockout of the night last time he fought. This is Micah Hammerhead Barton, who entered the ring, though. Yeah, and yeah, you got to win this, Dave. This is your name at stake. Someone calls himself the Irish Dave Portnoy. He's got to win the fight. He's from Hurricane, West Virginia. Says he wants Big Bad Booty Daddy's ban to be lifted so he can fight him and knock him out for justice for Bobby Lang and all our, our fans. His highlights have gone super viral. And here he is, Irish Dave Portnoy. He's actually wearing Irish Dave Portnoy on his shirt. He's wearing the uh, Celtics socks. Let's see if he can follow up his performance. Irish Dave Portnoy, it's hard not to root for him. I'm supposed to be unbiased. Oh, and he comes right out, swinging there. Oh, oh, he crushed him there, but Blue Gloves took it. That's sometimes a dangerous thing when you think you caught him clean and he's still there throwing. I mean, that was a good, clean shot. What is that? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee from yep. Irish Dave Portnoy. Hello, Muhammad Ali. He caught him clean. He and might he have gone go too anywhere. hard, too fast, though, Dave. Well, he, I mean, again, it's like everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. But what happens when that guy doesn't flinch? And that's what happened. And now Blue Gloves has kind of come back. They are swinging right now, trying to lay on him, body shots, little knee. Kind of hurting those kidneys. I can't tell Byers Tate Porter was a little stunned when that shot didn't do more damage. Yeah, he came out roaring, and it didn't do anything. I mean, and he caught him. Flush. Ten seconds left the round. Hands down from Irish Dave. Tries to load up. Back against. I don't. Tough round to score. Real tough, tough round, round to, to score. score. I don't know how he withstood that first punch, and he's smiling. Blue gloves is. I think blue gloves just felt. I took your best shot, and I'm still here. Dan, what is going on what in the ring? What is this? Dan, what is going what on is in the ring? What is this? Is that Joey Camasso? What is going on it's in the ring? It's the milf. It's the milf. That's not Joey because that's too small to be Joey. What is going on, Dave? It's a human sex doll. Uh-oh. What are they doing? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Slapping the human sex doll. The MILF. Is that a girl or a guy? What's going on? It's a girl. She's pretending to be a sex doll. Got it. Hey, I don't hate the Oh, we're in the Stu Finer getting uh, in the camera uh, section of the yeah, night. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You knew this was coming. You knew this would be coming. Can we say that shot, the replay? That he took? No, too late. Too busy on Stu. He, uh, Stu has four different costume changes is what I heard in the back. Pete in the studio decided that he wanted to make it the Stu Finer show rather than see that perfect punch. All right, round two. All right. R round one, I got no idea who won. To no be totally idea. Honest. I think maybe Blue Gloves. Yeah. It feels like, it that, feels like Micah Barton is controlling it. Oh, swing and a miss. Another swing and a miss. Uppercut loads up, doesn't connect. A lot of, lot of heavy, bad ambition punches, nothing landing. You feel like if somebody can land one of these haymakers, it'll change the complexion of the fight instantly. Oh, oh. big right, missed by five feet. I think he's advantaged <laughs> by he's shorter. Those are all just sailing over his head. Yep. Now they're just trading in the middle. Oh, that's that's an able move where you just lean yep. all your weight in. You gotta go uppercut when that happens. Nothing has really landed this round. We should have mentioned. Oh, good left. Michael Barton in the blue gloves is a school teacher. Yeah. So it's kind of like Dave Portnoy versus Dave Portnoy because you want to win a. Dave Portnoy just gave me a scowl. School, yeah, school teacher. I don't know who's winning this fight. No. I love the energy on Ted. Dessert always comes in all that's, cylinders firing. Yep, that's dessert. 
Yeah, anybody can win this fight. Anyone can win this fight. If someone wins this round with authority, I would say they're the winner. Don't Agreed. forget, by the way, we got the two main events coming up. Uh, large. Let's go. You got Shizat. The cups. He's out of suspension. Shizat, how are you feeling tonight? What's about to go down? I was meant to be here. This is destiny. It just so happens that the day I get unsuspended is the day of the event. They write that shit in the stars for people like me. The faces are up and rowdy. I was meant to be here. That boy was born to be not me. She's at the, the fighter of destiny coming up in a couple of fights, guys. I'm having some right. microphone difficulty yep. on those. She's at wearing the part of my cheesesteak shirt. I might have paid him to do that. Round three up for grabs here, I do believe. Leans on him. We almost had these ropes maybe a little weak. We almost had someone go over there again. I don't know if I can take a guy going over. I, I still have a headache from laughing so hard. <laughs> it's the best. All right, Irish Dave with a couple shots right there. This is this fight is to oh, oh. Good right, right and left. And Let's right. see if he can finish oh. it. Go left. Let's see if he can finish it. Irish Dave Bordoy. I don't know if he's leaning or he's trying to stay up. But that, that may win him the fight, that exchange right there. Little rabbit punches to the back of the head. Oh, yeah, another solid punch. Oh! oh! How is he eating these? I don't know. He's got a fucking jaw. But this is now Irish Dave Portnoy just took control of the fight. Clearly, all the power punches. I don't know what he's saying to him in that clinch. Oh, another good one. And that's that was it. an impressive third round from Irish State. Yeah, Portland. clear winner. Decide the fighters up for grabs. Landed all the power shots there. Tough chin on the school teacher. Very tough. Really? Yeah, the right decision. Yep. That third round won it. He, no he, doubt. Put all, he put a great performance there in the third round. So we got a little person, girl fight, beautiful Bobby Joe Toby, little Jessica Cash Capri, 4-4 versus 4-7. Um, let, what? Couple Madden codes up there for the people, I promised them. Oh, nice. if they buy If they buy the Rough and Rowdy, they might get a free Madden. Very nice. Caleb? Yeah, fresh off the Madden codes, it's hard to follow, but I'm here with Brianna and also Grace, and Grace might have an announcement for us. And how I understand it, you want to take it over? Yeah. So her name now is Grace the Mick O'Malley, and she has something to say. I'm fighting in the next rough and rowdy. Say your fucking prayers. Let's go, Grace. Oh, she's picking up the mic. That is very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You gotta, I, I you would do a follow-up question about stuff. You know, yeah. Yeah. you can't mic drop and <laughs> then pick, pick it up. up. I didn't yeah. know it was gonna happen. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. we, we probably should have cut it up. All right. Well, there you go, O'Malley in the next one. I'm excited. O'Malley's an electric personality, and uh, I'm a big fan of hers, and she's gonna be fighting. So get ready. Frank, just That's looking great. at the Mets score behind us. Yeah, he told me to fucking take. I took. I bet against the Mets based on Frank saying he thought the Mets were in trouble tonight. All right, so we got Jessica, Little Jess Capri. I don't think you have to go by Little Jess, right? What'd that say? Out drank Gronkowski? Was kicked out of Gronk Beach for partying too hard. That's hard to do. Yeah, says you're gonna unleash hell. Voted number one bartender in Tampa. Big following on social media. The biggest thing you didn't mention, Dave, she did an OnlyStands interview with Glenny Ball. Oh, I did. I, that's, I missed that. And here comes beautiful Bobby Joe Toby. So this is, a, this is also history. This is the first ever uh, little person fight, female little person fight. She is a third generation dwarf athlete, family's wrestlers, sister Dylan Heartbreaker Michaels, who won at r, &R 17, was supposed to fight today. Very competitive athlete. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Never had this. We've been breaking barriers all night. This is a historic event all the way around. Yeah, we got an 18 year old versus 34 year old. Touches gloves, and here we go. Dancing around, let's see. And here comes beautiful Bobby. Beautiful Bobby on the attack, getting pushed back a little bit. Hands up from uh, the Gronk drinker. Moving quickly. Beautiful Bobby, little fake jab, and a oh, nice yeah. left from beautiful Bobby. Backs out quick. Beautiful Bobby feeling herself right She's now. She's quick, Dave. Yeah, she got those punches in. That was a different zip code. She's very quick back out, and she's 
clearly oh. controlling the action. She can't, bouncing she, around yeah, that Yeah, she ring. can't find where she is. Going a million miles per hour. Little Jess looks, she gets punched, then boom, she's behind her. Oh, here it comes again. Beautiful Little. Bobby in complete control. Wow. Great round for a beautiful Bobby. Well, it's tough to fight in pink kids, if we're being honest. Yeah, I would say so. Round one, beautiful Bobby, clear winner. That was, she is lightning fast. Bouncing Didn't you? And then all the way on the other side of the ring before you can even look up. Beautiful Bobby hailing from St. Joseph, Missouri. Jessica Little, Jas Capri, Las Vegas, Nevada. Ring girls, bang, bang into the room. This is I, Jesse J. I love Jesse J. Yes. This is the 14th fight. It was scheduled for 21. Yep. Long way to go. The main event still there. Alex Bennett, uh, Doug's, the Barstool contingency, the feeling around the locker room. We may go 0 2. It might be I a hope tough wrong. night. Yeah, but here's what I'll say is we do have Mendez Boxing training both of them, and Mendez Boxing has been fantastic for Barstool but fighters. Just the background of Frank just. Yeah. Just peeping the yeah. Mets just, just getting ready to get it off. <laughs> round two, clear winner round one, beautiful Bobby. I don't want to sound, I'm not going to say it. Okay, all right, I feel like that was a, but you kind of have to say it. Do I? No, you don't. All right, round two here. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging out of the gate. Beautiful Bobby oh. knocks her down. Is that a slip or a knockdown? I don't know. Maybe a little the, combo. I, I got to be honest. The reaction from Jessica Little, Jess Capri, made it seem like it was a knockdown. Yeah. But then I can't tell if the ref just said it was a slip. Beautiful Bobby is just everywhere. It's all beautiful Bobby. I don't know that she's been hit yet. She's just too quick and dominating the fight. And another right. Hands up. But it's not doing anything. She breaks the guard, and beautiful Bobby's in there, pounding her. It's all beautiful Bobby. All beautiful Bobby. It's a very easy nickname to pronounce. Yeah. More fighters should always do the combo like BB, like Dangerous Dave. Yes. All right, 2 nothing, beautiful Bobby. A, a cakewalk right now, I would say, at this point. She's confident. All right, ring girls come in. And here comes the Beast again. She's got 17 costume changes. Peachy. She got she's the, also, like, I think, cutting the line to get back in yeah. the line. That G-string doesn't leave much to the No, uh, that is an ass. Holy moly, this bikini right here in the pink. Yep, the front that of also. It. Yeah, the, right in our face. Oh, yeah, the front uh, absolutely oh, yeah. leaves nothing to be uh -oh. desired. That's a TikTok move. Yes. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's a TikTok move. Peachy is I putting tell you it what, on. Peachy she might go two for two. Double. She might go two for two. I mean, I, the camera loves Peachy leaving the ring. Spider, oh. every time he just, Spider's nodded to me. I think Spider has a thing for Peachy. Yeah. He's giving us a thumbs up. That, that ass would suffocate Spider. Oh, he'd have no chance. He would be in an avalanche of ass. Uh, round three, two nothing. Beautiful Bobby. Uh, I think we're going to see beautiful Bobby. I don't know who else would challenge her, but she has been very impressive this fight. Yeah, I don't. And a little fainting coming in, faking the right, then throws a left, oh! and connects. That was a nice punch, nice move. She had her all off balance. Standing eight. Little Jess staying in there, but Bobby's, little... by the way, beautiful Bobby is kind of like ripped. Yes. And this is the first time, though, she's had any action towards her. She is half the age, but dominant. Oh, big right. Hammered her with that punch. And a little hair twirl to match. Yeah, this is not gone good for the Gronk drinker. Oh. All, all offense now. I think right now she just wants this fight to end. Just yeah. a little uh, Capri Capri, little Jess. No rhythm to those punches. And then she eats a punch. 3-0, clear victory for beautiful Bobby Joe Tovey. That was an impressive, impressive win. Very good debut. Domination, start to finish. All right, so my guy Shizad is up next, Dave. Yep. You can get part of my cheesesteak in all the apps. 
She's got her, her crew right there. Nathan Iceman Kalfoot, who the Rizat's fighting, says he's going to fuck shithead up. Fuck shithead the Rizat. I'm going to kick his ass. This is his last R&R &R fight before trying to turn pro from the Iceman. Whoa. Man. And Shizat, I love Shizat. He's my guy. I've loved him from day one. I'll say it right now, and he knows this. He needs a knockout. It's been a while. He needs a knockout. Now the I Iceman says he's 6-1 and one in this thing. Rizat's 5-5. Five and five. Yeah. Fuck shithead Rizat. Uh, we got large, large. I'm here with a five-time uh, dwarf champion. I'm here with uh, Jeremy Dynamite Smith. This guy's the closest thing we have to a short thing at these uh, rough and rowdy games. How you doing, my man? How you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks for asking. You're essentially going to go in there and uh, fight Zod. You'll know what I mean in a second. What are you going to do to this guy? Listen, it's just like the past five people. We're going to try to knock him out. That's the best thing you can do. We're boxing. It's a game. You know, this guy is probably one of the better athletes that we've had on the show. I'm excited for a great fight, and we're just going to see what happens. All right, once again, it's not got specialists. It's going to keep it short. I like well it. done, Large. A little, little, little inside jokes there. All right, here we yep. go. Nathan Iceman Kalfoot. He's six and one in this. I don't remember him fighting. I don't remember him fighting either. Is that a made-up record? Is it a self-proclaimed record? Here comes Shizat Rizat. Always a long entrance. Here he comes. Scary Barry in his corner. Yeah, Shizat needs a needs a victory here. He has one of the longer entrances that we have in R&R. &R. He really uses his time. And why not? Yeah. It's his steak. It's his time. Pardon my cheese steak. Go get it now. And Ghost Kitchens Across America will be adding more places before football season starts. Check it out. He's really oh. getting the dance oh. moves on. $500 well spent by me. That poster really with you hugging Aaron. Oh, Rose it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Scary Bobby in his corner. Scary Bobby, I, I actually, if we're giving the award to best fighter, it's the guy who beats Scary, Scary Bobby. Scary Barry, yeah, yep, I'd agree. All right, here we go, let's see what we got in this fight. Getting closer and closer to the main events. Very excited for what we have coming up. All right, here we go, Shizat, notorious power. And he's coming out swinging right now against the ropes. He wants a knockout, Dave. He told me that. Oh, good shot. I tell you, this guy, the Iceman, though, clearly can fight. You can tell that right off the bat. Shizat draws a tough appointment every time. Every Big time. left, and that hurt Shizat, it looked like. Shizat is good at dodging. Good movement. Oh, they're both swinging and both leaning. Yeah, they're both looking for a knockout. They are 100% both I looking for a knockout. I think we might get one. And that, that, like, those are inches away from someone getting caught. Shizette does have an iron jaw. Who you got so far in this round? I, I don't know. I think Iceman a little bit. Can't really tell, though. Very close round. Rabbit punches. And again, smart in a clinch. He's getting his little shots in. They're both throwing furious punches. Zero gassing in this round. No, they look both in shape. This should be a good three-round fight. And it always, we've said this many times, the, the higher the quality of the fighters, sometimes the slower the fight right. in terms of their, their right. more specific. Oh, whoa. Damn. Is that your girl? Uh, I that believe it is. is my girl, Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks. I don't love the bikini. It's kind of weird. It's like fake or tits. not the bikini, whatever. The, the yeah. uh, one piece. Yeah, but it's the a one man's piece. tits. The one piece. What is that? What is it? My little pony on the on the calf? I don't know. Or the thigh? I don't really know. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, I'm a Sandy Cheeks guy. I'll say it right now. Oh, hat into the crowd. I like that. All right, round two coming up. Tough fight to score. I, I don't know. You could coin flip that first round. I think Shizat, maybe. Frank no, I there. changed it. Frank I think Iceman. Going oh, on and, his and phone. here we go. Uh oh, what up? Oh, no. The, Stu's the another four, costume the change. Four, and he just tried to drop his ass right in front of the camera. He will do anything for a quick shot of the crowd. All right, here we go. Round two. Both oh. guys are swinging. This is one punch away again for really. Ch oh, oh, good left there, but he took it. Those are exchanging. These are haymakers. They really are, and they're both really good at dodging these big shots. Bad intentions on every shot. And you nice can tell they both shot. know how to fight. Oh, nice left there. They're both defense with offense. Good right from the Iceman. 
She's at trying to get that knockout. Good right again from the ice man. Good left. Ooh, that one hurt his body. Nice the ice man is, is keeping them at distance. The bombs from Shizad are from too far away, it looks like. Yep. Good countering right now from the ice man. Both seemingly respect. Oh, oh, good left. But he took it. He took it. Some big shots in this fight. That did look like it hurt him. His feet aren't totally under him on that yeah, last punch. Yeah, his eyes a little bit there. I think that I, did hurt I think him. that was Shizat's round. Can we see that right again? I don't that know. That right hit hard. So hard to tell. Very even fight. Very, very even fight. Some big, interesting. Number five right in our face. Here, oh, good shot, but not as clean as it looked. No, no, they're both really good at dodging. Let's see if we get something in this third round brought to you by 3G. Use Relax 10. Relax 10 online at 3G.com for 10% off the entire night. Relax 10 for 10% off, not valid with any other discounts. Limit one use per customer. I will say 3G is great. Great for the weekends. 3G.com, 10% off. So in my mind, this third round between the Iceman and Shizat, whoever wins this round wins the fight. I'd agree, I'd agree. Touch gloves, good sportsmanship. You can tell they respect and they both come out swinging right away. It's like they're lightning quick, both of them. Yep. So, and they both have good defense. They both have their arms up near their head on the opposite side where they're exposed for the most part. This is one of those fights where if you put them against any other two, they'd probably knock them out. Yeah, right, 100%. I don't know who's winning this fight. I mean, there's a lot of punches that are thrown, but not much landing. Shizat seems like he's waiting for that big right, one more big last stand. Iceman's doing a good job, though, of holding them off. Those aren't doing much yep. either. I think both starting to get tired. Definitely Iceman's getting tired. So see if Shizak can capitalize on that. 10 seconds of the fight. We are one punch to determine if they can do it. He just misses. Shizak went for it. Shizat in the corner now. This may win him it, believe yeah. it or not. It's yeah. tough to tell. I agree. He had the last gas there. Very tough fight to score. Good fight, though. Guys were really throwing. Just two really good guys who are, are going to get out of the way. Split decision. There it is. Who's I that? think he deserves it. That's my guy. That, listen. Some booze. Shizat needed a knockout, but that guy was not going to get knocked out. It was a good fight. It was really a very good, good fight. fight. Really good fight. Next up, Amy the Boss. Oh, crowd doesn't like it. Crowd's yeah, what's up with this? Shizat. I don't know. Crowd's booing Interesting. Shizat. Next up, Amy the Boss Elkins, Tanya Hard Hands Hopkins. Age Hill, 42 versus age 30. Huntington, West Virginia versus Vienna. See what some yeah, results that was, here. That was a weird reaction by the crowd. Yeah, I guess maybe like the Iceman's from West Virginia. That was probably what it was. No, he's from Masontown, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I don't know what it was. Uh, Caleb. Yeah, guys, I'm here with Shizat, one of our favorite rough and rowdy fighters, coming off a win on a decision. Looked like you guys were both going for the knockout. If you want to jump in, you guys were both going for the knockout. For sure. I respect this kid, man. Hell of a fighter, dude. I actually seen you fight in a tough man one time. You stood out to me, dude. I, said, I, I had a feeling, I had a feeling man, he's gonna meet one day, dude. Yeah. You like him as much as he likes you? Oh, I respect the shit out of him. <laughs> but the decision, I disagree. I feel like I won. Uh, I knocked you a few times there, bro. I had you, the pressure on the end. Good... Excuse that. Why are you getting booed? You know what? That don't matter, man. All these people here, all my family and friends, Caleb, Sanchezka, Vanessa, Nana, all y'all, baby. Derek, all my friends, Jake and David. I love y'all. Old Jonesy, this is for y'all. This is for Coca Creek, Tennessee, and Morgantown, West Virginia, baby. Y'all are my people. Y'all who I fought for. I would throw the mic to you. It's hard to follow. Back to you guys. A little shades of Peter McNeely right there. Yeah. From yeah. Freaky, from Joey, from Nana. Shouting them all out. I'll tell you what. What did, what did Peter McNeely, Smokey, or whatever he said before? Tanya Hardhands Hopkins has a mean look on her face, Dave. Yeah, she does. Holy Six and shit. Says she wants to fight Cherry Bomb for the women's title. Everyone wants to fight Cherry Bomb. I feel like she's been called out seven times. Yeah, well, she's the champ. 
Oh, this one's going to be a good fight. Local boxing gym owner. What? Whoa. Not a big talker. Didn't show up at weigh-in. Won her fight at r, &R 17. Owns a boxing uh, gym where Cupcake trains. Damn. All right, here we go. She doesn't like to talk. She just likes to box. You got to think that's an advantage owning a boxing yeah. gym. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm a but little turned what, on she, by Amy the Boss. She's one and one. Kind of got that uh, Matt, Rachel Maddow hair. Or uh, uh, Demi Moore. Didn't Demi Moore do the short haircut for oh, a yeah. while? Oh, yeah, 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 she did. All right, see what we got here. Oh, but right now she's on the defensive. This is good action. I don't know why the crowd's yeah. on their ass right now. These two are girls are going right at each other. Women, I should say. This is where we really need a third able brother. Yeah. All right. I, mean, I don't know what the crowd wants. These two girls are throwing. They so far, no, no advantage. Oh, good right right there. So far, got to give it to Blue Gloves. Yeah, she's definitely winning this so far. A nod. Good duck. Good right. Good body. She's holding her in. What happens to the boxing gym if she loses? Oh, good right right there. Well, she says she already lost w once. She's one and one. That's true. I guess it's like those who can do teach. Teach, Is that yeah, that's a good point. Uh, round one, I got to go to uh, Tonya Hardhands Hopkins. Says she, oh, so Tonya Hardhands Hopkins beat Hot Wheels. Yeah. And she wants to face Cherry Bomb. Came for the very title. Focused. Yeah. So this, this is probably for a title shot. She's got to do something big. Caleb? What? Caleb. Mid-round here, I'm with two of our biggest personalities at Barstool, also 3G bringing you tonight. If you're trying to maybe have a, a little bit of a wilder night and you're thinking of 3G, what are you guys seeing out here? Nothing but, but electric, electricity. This is something special. This is something different. I love rough and round. Do you think you guys would ever talk in normal life if you didn't work for Barstool? No, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I love sass. Yeah. <laughs> and and do you talk even though you're here with Barstool? Oh yeah, we've been shooting this shit all night, just talking about beating ass and stuff. All right, guys, we got the next round coming up. Three Chi, thank you for sponsoring tonight's event. All right, okay. round two. Little stool problem it looked yeah. like. Yeah. Ooh, nice Reminder punches. for all you Barstool people out there who bought the fight strictly as Barstool as opposed to R&R, &R, we have our two fighters still coming up. That's Doug's. They secured the ring. At one point, there was questions whether they had to fight last because the ring would break. We've secured that, so Alex will be last, and then uh, Doug's before that. Oh, good right right there. Trading. These two are trading. I kind of like the slow jams right now. Yeah. Music. It is nice. <laughs> like, you know, maybe a little R&B, David Allen Boucher, Midnight Magic here. <laughs> oh, nice. This is all blue in my yeah. eyes. Not doing particularly a ton of damage. I'll tell you what, if we find a girl who throws with anger, that would change it. Like, they throw punches and punches, but not yeah. devastating power. Right. Oh, good left right there. Caught it. Best punch of the night for the uh, gym owner. The boss. I still got to go 2-0, though, blue. Tonya Hard Hands Hopkins. I tell you that Tonya Hard just had me going harding. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, uh-oh, we got on the floor. Yeah, yeah, we did. That is uh, Baby Machete again. I swear. Baby Machete. I swear I've seen that tattoo somewhere, the 16. I think that's a uh, Lana Rhodes special. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Not that I know it. But no, it you wouldn't know. But it is. Someone told you. Um, round three coming up. I think it is all Tanya Hardhands Hopkins. Oh, easy. Hopkins. Easy. Tanya Hardhands Hopkins. I, I saw it in her eyes when she came up. It was... Yeah, the boss is going to have to do something special here. Still attracted to her. I maybe need Caleb to just, not in a creepy way, let her know that I'm attracted to her. I think she'd hate that. Yeah, probably. She strikes me as someone she who... Would be, would, she's the boss. Yeah, and it's like, that's insulting. Yeah, you're I right. I could be wrong. No, you're right. 
Like she didn't come in here to be attractive. She no, I mean, listen, she's fight. doing a good job, you know, holding her own in here. Oh, oh we got nose. the blood. We got yep. the blood. And that that psychologically just shows she's taking a beating. Yep. And now it's now even though it may not have changed, the blood is just such a vicious. It's all hard hands, Hopkins, right now. She's finishing it. Yep. Doing a good job of maybe being the number one contender to yeah, go up against Yeah, I think Sherry she earned Bob. it. She's won this fight convincingly. The blood on the nose has sealed the deal. Ten seconds. And again, beating a, a woman who owns a boxing ring is, that's. Yep. And she's mad. That, she looks like means business coming in. That's it. 3-0, Tanya Hard Hands Hopkins. Clear winner and maybe did earn a shot to face Cherry Bomb. Yes. All right, we got. We got a large with Coach Dugs. Absolutely, guys. I'm having a fantastic time. I'm here with Sandy Cheeks and Coach Dugs. Dugs, this is it. You're not talking to anybody else before you get in with this fucking monster. What's the last words from Dugs right now? There is nothing in his arsenal that is greater than the American will. Nothing that's greater than the American will. So you're going to go out there and you're going to? We will do a lot of things for freedom. We will sacrifice for it. We will fight for it. But we will not surrender for it. Damn right. That's Coach Dugs. He's good to go. This is Sandy Cheeks. Back to you, boys. Yeah, I, I love uh, how Dugs is making it seem like he's fighting North Korea. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like freedom Canada. And, and liberty and, and, you know. Demo democracy and all Universal that. Universal health care. Yeah, that's yeah, Canada, he, but yeah. He's fighting Canada. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have the three chief fight of the night replay, which I I don't think anyone is guessing what this is. Oh, that's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Three chief fight of the night replay. Let's go to it. Here oh, it is. It's got to be Abel going. Package. Yeah, no. The devil sometimes I feel like gets involved in these graphics, gets a little bit over. There and here it is. It is. This, I still have a headache from laughing so hard. <laughs> the crowd, you can hear the crowd noise. Just the fact that we had not one, but, but two, two over the counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh and then God. here comes the second one. O'Malley loved that more than anybody. You see O'Malley go yes. crazy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Frank in the back. Oh man, 3 Chi fight of the night. Thank you to 3 Chi. Use code RELAX10. We I do have a preview video if we want to watch it for this for one the coming champ? up. Yeah, yeah let's it. do it. Go to the preview. We'll just sit here if we have to, but go to the preview. Uh, let's go, Stacey. Come on, Pete. Pete, preview. He's, he's working on it. He's yelling at us. He's getting mad. You can all sleep in the booth. Also, throw him. There we go. Strongest pound for pound dwarfs in the world. I can squat right now, 745. The whole world is going to watch me, Jamaican Joe, kick your ass. Wow. <laughs> Loves weed. Loves weed. Very fast, very strong dwarf wrestler, replacement of Dylan Michaels. This is, though, I mean, look, Jamaican Joe has got a tall, tall task because we've seen Dynamite Jeremy Smith. He's one of our best champions. He just beats everyone that challenges him. Well, he, he's just so strong. So strong. He's had the belt for, it feels like, three years now. Deservingly so. And never really been challenged. Nope. He did show respect, though, to Josi Josiah by saying he thought he was as tough as opponent. Oh, wow. Look at those shoes on uh, Jamaican Joe. Oh, wow. He's got the Jamaica on the... There we go. Let's see if Jamaican Joe can shock the world here. It would be a true shock. Jeremy Smith undefeated. And you can tell... You can tell strategy right, right right away from Jamaica Joe. Stay away. Yep. Use his quickness. Now, what he what what generally happens is Jeremy Smith bullies you, gets you in a corner, picks you up, and hammers you in the corner. Yeah. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to grab him and get him, beat him up, and he's on his bicycle. Yep. He's running away. Yeah. You're right. Jeremy Smith is just so goddamn strong. His strategy is just bully you, get in close, bully you, and we'll see if Jamaica Joe can stand on the outside. So far, so good, but he's also not doing anything. 
And he's smart. He's staying away. And, and part of the problem, not problem, but a rough and rowdy, everyone wants action. The crowd starts to action, action. Well, when you get action, getting close, Jeremy, he bullies you. Yep. I like what he's doing right now. Here it is. Round one ends. Jeremy Jeremy gives that to Jeremy Smith. Yep. That's easy, Jeremy Smith. And it's kind of like, are you going to let yourself fight and get dominated, or are you going to stay on the outside and not put on a show? Right. That was not put on a show. Is that beautiful Bobby in the corner? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. I believe so. Here's Sandy Cheeks out here again. She's my. So she's doing it all, Sandy Cheeks. She's my pick of the night. Coach Doug's fight coming up next. He's doing it for democracy, freedom, and everything else. We got Asilla number three out here again. Coach Doug's may just spark an actual rivalry between yeah. countries. That doesn't exist. I like yeah. it. You came at Canada hard. It is true. I never thought of it like of all the countries. Canada's yeah. got to be our number one, number, right? It's basically the same country. <laughs> he is acting like it's a communist or uh, you know dictatorship of some sort. All, all right, right, round two. Crowd likes this song. A reminder, we got our Alex Bennett fighting last tonight versus Cupcake. Let's see what Jamaican Joe can do. Good little shot. But it's tough because even when he hits Jamaican Joe, he runs away. Yes. So it's tough to score that. And there's Jeremy coming in, just trying to muscle into the corner and then bully. He, I, you know what he's going to do. Can you stop it? Yep. And it looks even more impactful because the way it physically dominates. Jamaican Joe trying, but no. Nope. There it is, in the corner and then just chasing it around. And, oh, no. Oh, no. And he keeps it balanced. Good shot there. And now this is where you generally we've seen domination. Jeremy Smith, I would say, handily winning this round. Yes. Well, whenever you have a guy who's literally running away, yes. I'd say that's fair to say that he's not winning the fight. Can anybody stop Dynamite Jeremy Smith? I don't. I think the answer is no. Undefeated. Oh, we got Caleb. Guys, obviously, it's a huge rivalry that Doug has. Doug has sparked, but Canada's represented as well. Straight from Canada, we have a whole section of guys. From what, hey, what, what is it about the USA that you guys hate the most? Uh, it's got to be the flag. It's got to be the flag. Too many colors, too many symbols. It's tough to, tough to deal with. Ours is a little easier. Are you hoping does get just absolutely obliterated? I'm not hoping. I'm, I'm almost 100% confident he's about to die. Big crowd here. Next round coming up, but the Doug fights me something to watch. Yeah, uh, I, I, listen, that summed it up, Dave. I'm rooting. Yeah, the the, the, the the big rivalry is we have one extra color in our flag. Yeah, and the symbols. And and I gotta be honest, I I hope Doug wins, but he may die. I, I being honest, I think he could die. Yeah, maybe I, I'm wrong. I we've been wrong before. I'm rooting for him very right very now, hard. Right now, by the way, this is a bloodbath in this this third round. Yep, Dynamite Jeremy Smith, the champ, five times dominating this round, and we've seen this story over and over. He just wears down his opponent and and just brutalizes There's him. There's nothing they can do. I don't know what else he can say. He's just a bully. He's never a bully hit. in the ring. Never gets hit. His crowd and his manager is almost like they want to put on a show. Like, he, he's screaming at him. They know they're winning. They just want to win, and he's winning easily. Yeah. Yeah. This one here is all she wrote. Her saying 10 seconds, end it. He's trying to connect on those. I got to go 3 0 here, Jeremy Smith. Yep. Pete, put up some more Madden codes. Also, the winner by unanimous decision is still undefeated. Jamaica Joe looks like he stunned. He yeah, I don't know. He was watching a different fight. And now they have the losing girl doing yeah. the big man belt. Yep. Jeremy Smith keeps his belt. Like I said, I think he might. I think he might have the longest belt uh, tenureship in Rough and Rowdy history. I don't Bobby know. Lang is close, but he has been here forever and he has not been tested. Yeah. All right, next fight up Dustin Hollywood Bailey, Michael Make It Happen Brown. Um, 
beat Wade Woodruff about R and R fourteen for middleweight belt at Dustin Hollywood Bailey. That is impressive when you do that. Very yes. impressive. So this is the this is the guy Michael Brown who just got out of prison, and he fought in prison against m multiple men at a time. He said. He's been hit with padlocks, bats in prison, so he isn't scared of a boxing match. I love the sport and want to show other people getting out of prison can still fight in the ring. Caleb with the champ. I don't know. When they tell me when. Which is now. Yep, guys, I'm here with Jeremy. It was a pretty easy fight, it seemed like. Was that is that right? <laughs> it was a good fight. He's starting in the sport. We're growing the sport. We have female dwarf fighters now. It's doing a good something. Now, now we did see the female dwarf yes. fighter, but then also we saw the female dwarf fighter crown you with the belt. Yeah. I think a lot of our viewers at home are probably curious. Is that something that you're interested in, or, or what no. type of ladies do you like, honestly? To be honest, five nine and above, blonde hair, blue eyes, brown brunettes. Listen, anything above five nine. I mean, blonde hair, blue eyes, brown brunettes. Or you can have brunettes, any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, we got a big party after here, pool party, hotel. Fuck, it's gonna be lit. Yeah, he told me that tonight when I checked into the hotel. In front of the people who work at the hotel, there's a pool party there. So we'll see how it goes. Bro, lit. <laughs> oh, next up. This should be a good fight. Listen, if you beat Wayne Woodruff, Nighty Night Woodruff, you can fight. Yeah, what is um went there for a Nick Cage Con Air type situation? I don't well, I don't know what part of Con Air he's referring to. I'd like to know what he went to prison for. Well, Nick Cage Con Air was like a, your girl's back in the ring. Oh yeah. Sandy Cheeks, she I think she's been sent in over and over she's getting a lot of innings they know they can rely on her. con air what it was nick cage go to prison for i we went for manslaughter manslaughter oh yeah no no yeah. and that's what he went yeah he prison. went there for manslaughter so there's your answer. Yeah. that's a serious crime yeah no it is that's not a that's he's not reformed. a joke of a crime he said he's reformed so here it is, Michael make it happen, Brown. Yeah, when they say out of prison recently for Nick Cage, Con Air, that's exactly what they meant. They told yeah. him. Manslaughter. Now preaches about reform, has a huge following on Facebook, giving out the message. Says, like we said, gone through a lot. And here is, I think I talked with Dustin Bailey after. This guy's a very good fighter. Very good fighter. Middleweight champ. He's crawling into the belt ring. holder. And he's uh, trying to keep his belt here. Great trunks on Hollywood. Yep. Tried to fight Booty Daddy at R and R 16. Oh. He's friends with Bobby Lang, Shizat, Scary Barry, so he's part of the crew. Yeah. See what we got. They're both coming. Bailey coming right out. Did he get cut? Well, now you, he touched his knee and got right back up. Yeah, okay. he fell. Don't think that's a legal move, but he is back up. Both these guys quick flex muscles right off the bat here. A lot of pushing. I, so far, the blue, the, the Con Air situation, he's coming forward, but he's not throwing like punches, really. Yeah. I don't know what those are. Definite reach advantage oh, for Hollywood. Oh, good shot, though. But I don't know. Those don't look like real punches. They're like half jabs. Bailey looks very calm. Kind of a push shot. I think Bailey is measuring him, but who knows? We'll see. Yeah, He's very is... herky jerky. Is make it happen, Brown. Both guys kind of respecting each other, and doesn't really feel like. Oh, a little fake there. Yeah, this is going to be a tough fight for. Uh, I don't make know. it Brown. I, I don't know I, if his reach. I don't know how to score that. I think I got to give it to Blue Corner. I, I never know what they think when the fighters just look at us. Yeah, I know. I don't Sometimes know. Sometimes I think they hate us, but they all like us. I think. Right. We got large, large. Hey guys, I'm here with three elite athletes. Two of them are about to fight for the lightweight belt. We got Night Night versus the Ninja. First the challenger. How do you feel before we get in on this next fight? It's gonna be a good night. I feel comfortable. I love West Virginia. Weather's great. Good night for a good fight. I agree 100%. You're 0-2 against this guy. It's your belt. How do you feel? Well, I'm the champ right now. He's gotta come take it from me. We're gonna go out there and put a show on. This will be one to remember. Jimmy Fighter and Adam Open. Tune in, guys. We'll be right back. Let's go. Two so, guys Dave, in good shape. Hollywood has uh, four full inches on him. I think that's that's the part. Like, make it Brown or Michael. Make it happen, Brown. He might have won that first round, but I don't know how he's gonna get. Well, he's coming uh, forward with those like yeah. fast jabs, but yeah. I don't know that they're doing anything. A little clench. 
Like if I was Bailey, I'd almost not pay attention to those and just swing through it. Right. Because those aren't really like damaging punches. But it's controlling the fight doing it. He is. He's kind of bulldogging him. Very tough to tell what's going on. It's kind of nothing's happening. Very fast twitch, and then it comes in, but it's nothing, nothing thrown with any real anger from Blue. Like fast, fast jab, pop, yep. pop, pop, but nothing yep. behind it. Bailey's punches have more anger, but he's not connecting. And he's closing the distance and not letting the guy with the longer reach. Whoa, what was that for? I don't know what happened there. Or Round three, I don't, I don't know what to make of this fight. Yeah, I don't know. I don't either, Dave. I think it's two guys you know how to box, and like we've said many times, like that sometimes doesn't work for Robert Yeah, Rami. I don't know if Mike will make it happen. Brown knows how to box, but he's super active. And he's fast. I am very excited for the next fight. Wayne uh, Nighty Knight Woodruff versus Brendan Ninja Yeah, Kelly. after this, we got three fights. We three got fights. The Ninja versus Nighty Knight, and then we got Doug's, which the crowd's going to be electric for, versus Steve Primetime Young, America versus Canada, the new greatest rivalry in international geopolitics. And then uh, Alex Million Dollar AB Bennett versus Ashley Cupcake Willis, or Wiles. Wiles? And thank you to our sponsors tonight, Dude Wipes, Whistle Pig, Wick, Whiskey, 3 Chi and Wood Products. Make it happen is making it happen a little bit here, Dave. Yeah, it's crazy. He's making it happen without making it happen, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Like, he's just a lot of pushing and he's and just closing he's, he's the commanding distance. the ring yeah. without any real punches. And creating all these clinches, so I, I don't know. Like he just comes in very quick, gets inside, and then that happens. A lot of clenching. So he came, what was that? He's just like two elbows, not much punching. I, I got to uh, assume Dustin Hollywood Bailey's frustrated with this fight. Yes, very. Because I'm not 100% sure the other guy's fighting. He is fighting, but. His ring is yelling at him feet first over and over, trying to get him to step forward. But it's hard. The other guy is just like comes right in close yeah. to the distance. Yeah, nice something there. And that's it. It was a nice little punch at the yeah, end. It's but yeah, tough to score that fight. Real tough to score it. Tough to score it. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but it's tough to score that. I. I... Let's see what happens. I think make it happen. Yeah, I think that's the right call, Dave. He he definitely worked the most there. Oh, we have uh, Caleb right now with Content Kim right, right. over our shoulder. Caleb. I'm here with Content Kim. I think every mom, I speak for every mom, I, I don't want to do that to you, but I think every mom would say they want to see their daughter one day grow up to fight in rough and rowdy. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's something you don't ever want to say. What, what kind of feelings are you feeling? Um, I'm pretty nervous, uh, and especially after watching the girls fight, um, that made me a lot more anxious. What, what what could be the best outcome and what could be the worst outcome tonight? Well, the best outcome is if she wins. The worst outcome is if this girl fights like this every Friday night anyway. Like, I don't know. I don't know much about this girl, but I think that maybe she's had a little more experience than Alex. So, But I hope Alex wins. But I think if Alex wins or loses, that she's still a winner because she got in there and faced her fears. Are you ready for the possible reality? And I, I, I'm not trying to speak into existence, but if your daughter gets disfigured. Mm. Um, no, no, I don't think she's going to get a speaker. Is that something you thought about, though, to prepare your, prepare yourself for it? Well, just I, I thought her nose might get broken. That's about all. Well, that's oh. that's kind of what I meant. Oh, yeah. Well, she broke her nose in third grade. I mean, so. She could lose an arm, I guess, but no, I, no. I more meant face. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, if it's just her nose, that's better than, like, something else. Would you ever fight in this? Oh, hell no. No, no. I'm too big of a chicken. What if the bag was big? It wouldn't matter. I would never do it. Okay, Content Kim, Alex is going to be fighting in a minute. We First we have Doug's, and then we have Alex. We have a full house, a lot of Barstool personalities in here tonight. Yep. All right, let's go to the uh, preview Caleb. for Brendan Ninja Kelly versus Wayne Nighty Night Woodruff.
Ignore those first two ass whoopings I give you. They don't mean squit now. You foolish insults. Not new to my ears. You show the fuck up, son. You get you a third ass whooping, Brandon. Nighty night, motherfucker. That was cut short. I don't know what happened there. That's the whole thing, Scorsese. I too just love that Frank is just just he's there the, the whole time, just on his phone he's doing the thing, doing it. Very important for him to be here. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, Large looks like he's got somebody backstage. One hundred. Winner. I'm here with Michael. Make it happen, Brown, the newest champion of the world. How about that win? Let me know what you're feeling right now. Nope. These microphones do not work. Okay, thank you, Large. All I right. can't hear you. You can't hear you. Great job, Pete. And there's Frank. All right. Uh, let's do it. Let's toss the fight. Let's do it. This is uh, this is for a belt. This is for the lightweight title of the world, Dave. Yeah. We're fighting for a belt. So Wade Nighty Night Woodruff looking to go 3-0. If you beat anybody three times, that's the end. You can't yep. fight a fourth. Well, unless it's the Abel brother versus well, that Abel other guy. I'll watch count. that forever. The, the Abel brothers don't count. That, that's a whole different planet. So here we go. We see this guy fight a lot. He's the... Now, in a unique twist, Nighty Night is not the guy with the belt. Yes. So he's correct. trying to win the belt. He's trying to win the belt. And Brendan Ninja Kelly, lightweight belt. I think uh, one of them came down some weight here to meet him. I think the last time they fought, they fought at the middleweight. They're now fighting lightweight for the belt. 12 and 2, 14 times Ninja has fought in this. He's a grizzled vet. It should be a great fight because both these guys know what Rough and Rowdy is all about. And they both like putting on shows, which is very important. Nobody more so than Ninja Kelly who introduced himself with the backflip. Yes, and uh, I think, we're, I think the, the, the crowd has a, a weird vibe to it, waiting for, I think, Duggs and Alex. Because yeah, it's yeah. just, there's a little anticipation that has taken it, over the it, crowd. Is the Ninja wearing loafers? He's wearing American Oh, loafers. yeah, no, you're right. They're, they're like a hybrid loafer croc. What the fuck? What is that doing? And here we go. The third time these guys have fought. And I feel like the Ninja has gone better every time. Oh. A good right from Woodruff. And they are both swinging. And then the Ninja connects. Oh. No, that's a slip. That's that was definitely a slip. a slip. But they're going for it, Dave. Yeah. And I, that was, he took advantage, Ninja did, with coming back. He's got him in the corner. Big rights. Ninja coming out. He's trying to defend that belt. Great first round so far. Both guys landing shots. Those that, shoes who's going to last? Work. Somebody may be going down the way these guys are throwing hay haymakers. Sizing each other up, both respecting power. Oh, oh. Loading up on their shots. Oh, oh we almost, almost had somebody through, through here. This is a little more off kilter than we've seen way through. Oh, we not had a low blow. Not shot. We had a low not blow. And, and, he the, and the ninja flexing on a nut shot. That was a direct nut shot, That was a Dave. nut shot. And he's flexing on the nut shot. That was a direct nut shot. Flexing on the, the nut replay? shot. Holy flexing on the nut shit, shot. did he get him in the balls. Oh, he nut shot him. Right in the dick. He's coming back. Oh, I, that was unintentional, but kind of felt intentional. The ninja is saying it was a rip shot. I don't know what, what fight he's watching. Ninja just doesn't look firm on his shoes. I don't Let's, get it. Can we see that replay? Yeah, I want to see the Because the Ninja's shot. saying that was in the ribs or the stomach. Let's see if he's right. Oh, wait. No. That was a nut shot. I think it slid down to the nut shot, so it wasn't direct nut shot. But it's definitely the nuts which caused him to go down. You can see his nuts flick, like right there. And that's yeah. what hurt him. It wasn't their gut. It but he's right. It started in, yeah, by the way. Yeah, started the ribs. I, I, do, I do think if you start contact, that's where it counts. Yeah, Don't absolutely. quote me on that, but I think that is the rule. No, I like that rule. I think that's a correct where rule. Where there's first contact, that's what counts. Round two coming up. What, that round one went to the that Ninja, That was round right? one. Yeah, round one went to the Ninja, Yeah, right? yeah, I, I'd agree. And I, I think both these guys, you saw it in the first 20 seconds. They were trying to knock each other out, but I don't. I think now they're like, oh boy. This place is going to explode next fight with Doug's first primetime can USA, but this is a great fight we got right here. Oh, 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 big shot! The ninja caught him and knocked him down clean! He's 
smiles, that was clean. He's smiling at the judges, but that was a clean, clean shot from the Ninja, who is in control of this fight. 0-2, oh, acting like he's the 2-0 guy. Let's see how hurt Woodruff is. He's right back up. We've seen some impressive guys get up from big shots today. Big, big shots. That was a cement hand. down he goes oh, again. Is that push. a slip? Yeah. That no, was... he's counting. He's giving a standing eight there. We're heading into he's going to need a knockout. Yeah. He ran into a cement truck there, Dave. That was The Ninja is getting shot. better. The Ninja is improving as a boxer every time he's in there. And he's still firing, trying to, and I'll say this about the Ninja, he always wants to put on the show. Yep. So he's not sitting on this. He's still coming forward. That was a big shot he landed on Nighty Night. We got to see that Let's replay. Let's see that replay. 2-0 Ninja. Knock him out. He's, I'm telling him to knock him out. I want a knockout. Let's see it. Oh, oh great shot. Right under the chin. Now Man. that, a little different than the knockouts we've had. He still had his... That was a great shot. Oh no, his eyes rolled. I was gonna say he never lost, yeah. lost composure. And, and, and credit to Ninja in his power. Yeah, he's fighting. He's, he's pointing out his shoes. I saw the shoes. Ninja's credit to Ninja in his power day because he didn't even get his full hips in that. He was kind of going back when he hit him with that. So this guy's got fucking power. All right. Ninja's three talking G. about shoes. Maybe he sells those shoes. Yeah. Three chi. Oh, I wouldn't be shocked. Three chi third round. Relax ten online at three chi.com for ten percent off. Go right now, use Relax10 online at 3chi.com. All right, round three, clearly the Ninja's won one and two. Uh, Woodruff's going to need a knockout to get this win. If not, Ninja's keeping the belt, and it looks like he's in complete. Oh, good shot there from Nighty Knight. Turning the tables here is the Ninja. Also, oh, so he must be selling those shoes. Why else would you wear them and talk about them like yeah. he did? Ooh, he almost just got caught. We missed it, Dave, but the booth caught it. Uh, Woodruff puked in the middle of those rounds. Oh, another oh, clean oh. shot. Ninja Ninjas. celebrating, and I think Nighty Knight knows this is not his night. Nope. This has been all Ninja, and these two respect each other. I'm sure... I'm sure 99 guy have nothing but great things to say. Oh, another big one. Wow. This has been all Ninja right now. He's putting on a too show. Too strong, Ninja yelling at us. Too strong. He's putting on a show. Total domination. Didn't see this one coming. No. 0-2 previously. Hard to believe a total turnaround in this fight. All Ninja. And that's it. That Clear, easy win for Ninja. Ninja has gotten a lot better. A lot better. That was impressive, impressive. Can we see another one of those replays? We got to see another one of those. All right, let's go to... Uh, let's. Although I don't know the microphone's gonna work, but large, let's see if it does with Alex. Nope. Nope. Microphone's not working. Yes, now it now is. we got Microphone you. Now we got here you. with the largest entourage in the history of fucking uh, Rough and Rowdy. Little Sass is in the house. We got everybody else in the house. I'm gonna go to Kelly Keeks. Kelly Keeks, about this fucking fight. Nope. Microphones do not work. Microphone does not work. So Kelly Keegs, that was great, but we didn't hear anything. Yeah, that was an electric promo that we didn't hear. Uh, I think we have Caleb with Frank the Tank. Caleb, I don't know if his microphone works. Caleb? Test one, two, three. Yes. It's working. I'm here with Frank the Tank. Obviously, we just saw we just saw Ninja put on a performance, but what's next is maybe more monumental in what seems like what the audience here really wants to see. Yes, it is. It's the unit fight. Doug's. He's going to represent America. He's going to win for America. He's going to get this nice belt. Coach Doug's is going to teach Prime Time. To, that's a ridiculous name. Prime Time. Come on. He's more like Chunk for my Goonies. <laughs> Frank. Frank, don't unleash it yet. Save, save some shots. What does, what does Doug's have to do to get the? Because you know Canada is a pretty strong country. They're not, they're pretty strong. Well, he has to be aggressive. He can't, he can't. He has to move and duck. He has to be aggressive and he has to land some blows. Because you know, if you look, if you look, if you. All look, right, thank you very much, Frank. Great interview. Ring, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose on points. Yeah. I don't think this is gonna be a fight where there's gonna be a knockout. It's going to be a fight that goes a distance, and I think that Doug's has to control the action to win the fight. Okay, you, you heard it from Frank's day. Yeah, we did. All right, wow. here we go. The crowd is ready for this. Uh, again, I think most people, the conventional wisdom here, 
is that Doug's is in a bit of trouble, but Doug seems confident. He's a Barcelona guy. We're rooting for him. Um, I'm always amazed too, even when Caleb was interviewing content, Kim, that family, to see your, yeah, I mean, how, like she looks like she's straight out of the Brady Bunch, like the Partridge family, like the all-American mother to have your daughter fighting in it's crazy. Huntington, West Virginia it's in front crazy. of this is wild. It's crazy. We have a video real quick and then we'll introduce these guys. Steve Young, when I'm done with you, you'll be eating poutine through a fucking straw. This Canadian boy, I'm coming for you, Doug. Justin Trudeau will not allow me into Canada once he sees what I do to you. Just got done hitting the bag, and man, it's going to suck to be you. Steve Young, come this Friday. Canada will no longer allow me into the country after Justin Trudeau sees what I do to you. All right, Dave. It's the rivalry we didn't know existed. USA versus Canada. It is a hockey rivalry. It's now an international incident. Oh, wow. Steve Young, prime time, coming in. Very confusing name. What is this? What Am I missing is the entrance? Jesus? What, is that what it is? He's getting roundly booed here. How do you not come into O Canada? I don't know. Is he Jesus? I think he might be Jesus. But that's not the fighter. Because he doesn't have his gloves on. Where's the fighter? That is not the fighter. Where's the fighter? We got the wrong guy on the on the screen. Here he is. Wait. And there he and is. There he is. Wait, bucket where hat. is he? Where is He's he? got the yellow bucket yeah, hat. Yeah, on. the yellow bucket hat. Dave, I'm very nervous for Doug's. I got to see this guy in the ring. I don't think you travel with this many people. Unless you yeah. mean business. Yeah. And he's wearing the Canadian flag. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Now, I gotta be honest, Doug said he was glad that he was as big as he was. Yep. He thought he was gonna be a little smaller, which he thought he disadvantage. He was getting roundly booed. Canada might as well be Putin right now. I love to hear it. Let's go, Doug's. Come on. And here comes oh, Doug's. Oh, this is great. He's got the. He's got Fats Ewing, our guy Luke in there, too. He's got some sort of mascot, and I'm not talking about Stu Finer. Oh, we got beer getting dumped on the soldiers. I what tell is going you, on? Listen, listen, they hate him. The ca Canadians are, are going after him. This is bullshit. We got all the units. Where'd Luke come from? Well, Danny Almonte wow. shirt. You know who's not going to like that? Rico Boss. No, he's not. We got the units so, walking in with, with people dogs. People coming from all angles. I don't know who the hell this mascot is. This is a scene, Dave. And here comes Doug's. This is a fucking scene. Wearing the United States trunks. Here he comes. And, and the first step's going to be surviving getting in the ring. And he's and in. He's in. Yeah, he's in. Let's go, Doug's. I want right. to win very I'm bad. I'm a little bit nervous. A little intimidating that uh, Steve Young took his shirt off. It's like an O-lineman not wearing yeah, sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrel shots. Uh -huh. Crowd is standing right now. USA chant. I don't know what you do. What do you just do? Oh, Canada, how do you chant back for us, USA? Yeah. Here we go. Primetime is guaranteed death, and we're off. Let's go, Thugs. Uh, Thugs is in trouble. Thugs oh, is in boy. trouble. Oh, Thugs oh, is in Trouble. Thugs is in trouble. Rushed. Thugs is getting smoked, but he's still up, but he's getting pounded right now. Oh, big left. Thugs is eating leather, Dan. Dan, Dan, oh, no. Dan, Dan. Oh, no. Standing eight. He got standing eight. A standing eight. All right, Thugs. Regroup. And I don't Catch even, your breath. That was a nice standing eight. I don't yeah, know what that is. I think Thugs knows he's in a bit of trouble right now. He's got to go forward. Uh, oh, oh, if Doug's goes down, he may not get up. We got reports he doesn't do well getting up. And he's getting more oh, big right. Oh, oh no. Ring. Oh, no. Doug's is taking a beating. But he's still coming forward. The guts of a burglar, Doug's. He can't take freedom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Shout no. out to the ropes. The ropes, the ropes, ropes are just doing it. Overtime. That's that's hazard pay there. <laughs> the ropes, the ropes are the real MVP in this yep. fight. Doug survives round one. Now can Doug's wear him out? Because that could have yep. been that could have been uh, the rope a dope. Yes. That could have been George Foreman, that's Muhammad Ali punch him out. Thriller in Manila. This is exactly what I'm saying to myself right now because I'm rooting for Doug's. I want him to win. He was planning on doing that round one, folks. That was uh, that was like a pretty bad beating he took. Uh, but, yeah. But he saved his energy. He saved his energy. The ropes helped him. 
That, I don't know how much more the ropes can take. I know we're gonna get some sort of like complaint from the ropes, yes. like a workplace complaint. <laughs> the ropes did not sign up for it. The ropes no. could talk. That, They'd be saying no moss. That was a little shades of Yokozuna there, the wrestler going into the ropes. R.I.P. What a Stinky legend. face. Oh man. All right. The cut. I don't know what type of advice you can give. Oh oh oh. Oh, what, oh, what happened? I thought what happened? maybe gassed. I, I saw a timeout, no. Uh, he does look gassed. He does look gassed. Doug's looks like he's in better cardio shape. I just don't. Uh, Dan, I'm telling you, I love Coach Doug's. I think if Coach Doug's goes down, he it's, may not get back up like anytime soon. Horse falling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if Doug's, Doug's oh, is back. Oh, here we go. Doug's is on the attack and oh, no. no. Oh, let's test it. Oh, Doug's, no. Come on now. Come he's on, rolling. Doug's. Come on, Doug's. He's Brilliant. up. He's up. So the, the what we heard earlier about him not getting up, that was not true. Yep. Because he made that look easy. That was. He should get points for getting up that 100%. fast. 100%. And Doug's is still swinging. This is a much better round for Oh, good right, though. Oh, good left. Oh, oh no. no. Doug's, though, what guts because he's getting he's getting so smoked. He's getting mauled. He and is standing him. in there. He's. He's, he's fighting. showing hard. He's showing a lot of guts because he's absolutely getting mauled. But I think he's wearing the other guy down with breath. And Doug's doesn't want to be in, I don't think, anymore. No. Wear him out, Doug's. Oh, boy. He may come into our kitchen here, Dan. Yep. Security's getting close to us. Mike, like, security Mike guard is helping do, us like out. Mike could do a goddamn thing if <laughs> Doug's know. comes Mike, over the road. you're going to get flattened. <laughs> yeah. He's doing his best. Please. You should be part of the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> We got credit to the, the, our security guards. They that, are the secret that, service. That they will that, put themselves. That proves you would take a bullet. Yes. If you're going to get in front of a, a flying Doug. He, he just stood right there being like, I will catch Doug's so you guys don't get hurt. 2-0. Unfortunately, Canada. Doug's did a little bit of a bad sign when you turn your back. But I'll say this. Doug's is getting thoroughly beaten, but he's got heart. He's standing in there taking it. He could have not gotten up. Yep. He could have said no moss. He's shown all American heart and grit right now. He just may be outclassed in the ring. Man. Come on, Dugs. Find that extra gear. He looks a little bit gassed. He looks a lot gassed. Can he? This is going to be a big get up. A yep. little help he's from up. the corner, but he still did it. All right, round three. Dugs needs a knockout. And he's still, oh, oh, he's still swinging. Oh, he's eating it, though. He's getting just mauled in. And the rope's doing it. Oh, oh he's no. getting hammered. But he's still throwing, Dan. I, I think Doug's has to try to pull the he's table out on him. Body shots, body shots. Yeah, yeah, he's, pull the pull yeah, the chair. Yeah, he's got to he's try he's to stuck sneak in the out. Chair. He's stuck in the chair. And they're both tired. Yeah. Doug's oh is boy. real tired. Oh Doug's boy. is breathing deep. But a good, I, I did not think Doug's has it in. He's breathing no. so deep, he's still throwing punches, but his eyes seem to be a different planet. He's going all instincts right now to stay on his feet. Gutsy. I mean, he is struggling for air, but so is the other guy. Oh boy, left right there. Doug's is, is on his last. But so is the other guy. Yeah, you're right. And Doug still He's throwing coming. punches, still coming forward, showing guts. That was great effort by Doug. I, I couldn't be more proud. Great honestly. effort. They that promised was... Seth they didn't kill him. Doug is still on his two feet. Yep. And he's he's he said he's not a fighter. He wanted to fight. He put a hell of an effort in there. Definitely a fair decision. Yeah, but you know what? Dunks won one in the hearts of the people because he got in there and he was guts, all guts, getting just mauled. And, and I think there was it. a lot of chance, uh, points during that fight. He could have said no moss and no one would have criticized you're right, him. right. He could have quit. When he went down, he could have stayed down, but he didn't. Yeah, well, a lot of people said Barca will go 0-2 today. So far, the inside information on the backstretch was correct on the first fight. Mm -hmm. Doug's was, was outclassed there. And now it's Alex Million Dollar A.B. Bennett versus Ashley Cupcake Willis. The, the backside, the experts are saying uh, A.B. is in a little bit of trouble here. So we'll see. Uh, Kirk Minahan has promised death. 
So we'll see. And here's Doug. He's stuck in the ring, Dan. Nope. Let's, let's, let's get him out. Let's get him out. Let's get that on the video. Let's get that on video. Oh, he's he got out. out. He's successfully out. We get Caleb with Doug. We got 13 uh, police yep. officers ready to help him down. Let's make sure Doug gets out of this ring okay. Here we One go. One step, two step, three step, four. What is that song? <laughs> One step, <laughs> he's two good. step. He's uh, good. He's uh, good. Is that? They're giving him a check. From uh, um, Beetlejuice. The, oh. I thought you were saying uh, uh, Mambo number five. Let's Doug's see if Caleb can talk to Doug. Diggs is du cute. All right, there we go. Caleb with Doug's. Caleb. Yep, I'm here with Doug's. A little bit of a black guy already developing. Um, it didn't go how you wanted, but we all felt like you put on a very strong performance for Barca, but more so maybe the United States of America. What happened out there? I just I wanted to go out there and really put on a show after the last heavyweight fight. It sucked ass. I got booed out of the ring. My main goal was to put on a show and go the distance, and I did that. There's one point in the fight where you went down. You're on the ground. You're on the ground. You're on the mat. Yeah. What's going through your brain? How do you get back up? Actually, I was very thankful that I went down near the ropes. Yeah. Because without them, yeah. I don't think I could have done it. Do you have any last words to the United States of America, how we can rally? You, you put on a great show, but how we can rally past this point? Because Canada is a new rival we have. Listen, we might have lost the battle, but America always prevails. We, win, we will win the war. Doug's honestly, it was a great, a great performance by you. And I think everyone's uh, impressed with your conditioning. So Yeah, hey, I worked out for a month, lost 30 pounds. I couldn't believe it. So, hey. Maybe I'll work out a few more months, lose another couple 30 pounds, yeah. and I'll be back. Or maybe a little patty the batty, and you get fat after this. I wouldn't mind going to a buffet with him. All right, all right. <laughs> See you guys. Honestly, how can you not like Coach yeah, Doug? Love him. And, and just healthy. He lost 30 pounds. To be honest, it's so much energy in the ring, and, and the fact he stood for three rounds, walked out smiling, good for him. Yeah, it really was. And shout out the ropes again, because he even said it. If he wasn't by the ropes, it would have yep. been a bad scene. All right, I, I assume we're going to play the intro yes. here for this next fight. Yes. And get to Alex Bennett versus Cupcake. August the 19th, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. In the West Virginia trash you're gonna be seeing in the ring. I'm gonna be punching down for the first time in my life. Oh, and Cupcake, don't wear white, because red will stain. All right, here we go, Dave. I, so I met this guy walking in. I took a picture with him outside of the pizza place. Here comes Kirk. And Kirk, uh, just a villain for He really is the best hype man. And here's Cupcake. I am nervous for Alex Bennett. Yes. I think more so than I was for Coach Duff. Yeah, I'd agree. This girl is thick. And Kirk is just Kirk's yelling at the screaming crowd. at people. Yes. Shut the He's fuck up. He's yelling at the Bennett family. <laughs> he is a villain. It's a villain. Through. He just thrives in these situations. He, 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 would, be a, he would be a raider. And here comes yeah. Stu Finer. He thought people would know what this is. I, I forget what I he said it was. I don't either. I don't know. Was he supposed to be Alex? I don't know what he said he was doing. Stu Finer wins most uh, costume changes of the yeah. night award. Doesn't come with a pay. And here comes Alex Bennett with the oh, walk-in. Yeah. With the entourage. entourage. Here she comes. She looks focused. Show up, keep going, make Is magic. Is she not playing with any music? The pink yeah, wiki roll? And here comes Alex into here the ring. Here comes her entourage spraying $100 bills. Now, it'll be interesting. We've said that you know, we don't feel good. She is way bigger than Cupcake. Yes, yes. But I don't is. know if it's a good type of big. It's it's tall. I think, I mean, Alex is a very good athlete, I think. So uh, they got they had her stuck. Uh oh. Her, her Pink uh -oh. Whitney wardrobe is uh -oh. on point. She screwed that up, uh -oh. right? You're not supposed to, she can't get the roll. We got off. a glove situation going on. You don't want her to dislocate this is her shoulder. It's always bad. There we go. Oh, all right. It's She's out. clean. G gets the gloves back in, feeling good. Crowd chanting AB. Standing electric. The full pink Whitney garb looks great on Alex Bennett. It really does. She's, she definitely wins the Listen, best dress. Five eight versus five five. Neither of them have ever fought. So let's see what we got. I don't know. Cupcake's making me nervous with her stare. Cupcake's making me like very nervous with her stare. 
Yeah, she is looking mean right now. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Neither of them have ever fought. Alex kind of going forward with the jab. Cupcake coming in. Uh, so Alex is holding her own yeah, so far. Yeah, she is. If she can keep the distance. They're in tight, which may be, I don't know to who's in, in, in. Oh, they're exchanging words. A little fuck off, fuck yes. off. Yes. So the friendship or the back and forth, whether existed, is gone. Alex popping the jab at her, so it's clear. Alex wants to keep her outside, yep. and Cupcake needs to get inside. But Alex is holding her own in the first round, and on the aggressive, and Kirk Minahan has to be thinking what is going on right now. This round so far is Alex Bennett. A little surprising. She's got the, she's got the she's leg. She's got the distance and holding oh. down, and she just hurt her a little bit. Cupcakes, oh, Cupcakes has, has to be a timeout, Dave. Very confidence builder for Alex Bennett. I don't know what Cupcakes asking the rep about. Round one goes to Alex Bennett. And Kirk Minahan has to be wondering if he backed the wrong horse. A little nervous. By the way, I, and they show Kirk. I don't know what he's clapping about. He's steely jawed. Oh, no. Oh, here's Joey. Oh, no. Joey's got the. Oh, no. Wow. Joey is thick with many C's, Dave. Yikes. He is a thick, thick boy. I hope we don't get an FCC regulation on this. <laughs> oh, he's flaunted it. Ass. Round one, Alex Bennett. Alex Bennett also is doing something which is really smart. She's kind of keeping her hand on her head right. and like hitting her while doing so. She's using all of her length. Very impressive round from Alex. Minahan is definitely pacing nervously now. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. He's walking around scared. A weak clout. one nothing. Alex Bennett. <laughs> Look at that stare from the villain. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know what Cupcake was complaining about. I don't either. Bennett comes in. Oh, good shot from Alex. Getting backed up. Alex Bennett has already acquitted herself very well. Yes. Alex Bennett is controlling. That's a tomahawk, a dirty shot. But she is controlling ribs up, down. Alex Bennett throwing oh. her around. Oh! Ragdolling her. Being rough, dirty, getting the punches. Alex Bennett mad. She, I don't know what she's mad about. She's mad in general. She's There's been Alex Bennett all ring. Big right, big left. Alex Bennett is just winning this fight and winning it relatively easy. Oh my god. And gosh. one of the better efforts. Alex Bennett is pounding her in the corner. And wow. Top has her covering up. Alex Bennett, Alex Bennett, Alex Bennett. Alex Bennett with a good left. This girl's out there punches. Alex Bennett holding her head down. Illegal but smart. And Alex Bennett's confidence has to be through the roof right now. As long as she doesn't gas out. She is kicking her right ass. First punch from First punch wow. from Cupcake is 2-0 easily. I don't know what Kirk Minahan is clapping about. Kirk Minahan drove all the way down here, flew here to watch his protege get dominated. I'm curious to see what Kirk has to say. 2-0 Bennett easily. It's, it's a rout right now. It, Alex is absolutely dominating in every fashion, doing a great job. Wow, it, wow. And they keep shifting the attention with Joey Commissar, <laughs> which is disgusting if we're being honest. And I think, Dave, we both saw, we both talked to Alex before. I think she was a little nervous. She has to be so confident right now because everything she's doing is working and all of her training is paying off. She has to be thinking, where is, uh, where, where's um, Cherry, Cherry Bomb? Bomb. Yeah. Give me Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb, how was, as long as she, and she's, by the way, Cherry Bomb's in her corner. She may turn around and hit her. <laughs> by the way, bad attitude on Alex, too. Yes. She's throwing, like, F-bombs, this, that, dominating the fight. Comes out, round three. Good punch from Cupcake, but it does nothing. Alex walks right through it, looking like she wants to finish the deal. Oh. And it's ragdolling her and yelling. She's mad. These oh. two, some real bad blood yes. here has developed between these two. Yeah. Yelling at each other. Alex Bennett comes in mad again and using her height, pushes against the ropes, dominating the fight. Wow. Don't, this has is... her against the ropes. Nobody saw this coming. This is Cupcake, though. Best little exchange there. But it's going to be way too little, way too late. And it's still all Alex Bennett. It'll take a miracle shot from Cupcake at this point. Alex Bennett is going to walk around peacocking around the office after this. Oh, my God. Total yes. domination in a fight nobody saw coming. 
Kirk Minahan made a fool out of himself. An absolute fool. 3-0. Alex Bennett wins with ease. What and a maybe the best trained boxer out of the Mendez yes. gym that we've seen. Yes. But she actually, from not being able to box to box, easy victory, <laughs> Alex Bennett. Easily. The only Look thing at that, her face. Look at Cupcake's yeah. face. The only thing that Alex Bennett might have done that she won't uh, show regret is she has to fight again. Unbelievable. And you can see right now, you can see Caleb with the biggest loser in the arena, Kirk Minahan. There's Alex. Caleb. Uh, I'm here, guys, with the biggest loser in the entire arena, Kirk Minahan. Kirk. I, I, look, look, Ashley fought really hard. I got to give Alex credit. I mean, like I said, she'll, she'll all that's fighting. She fought a great fight. I'm stunned she did this well. It's a victory for soulless, selfless, empty people. The empty people of America won today. So congratulations to them, Caleb. Is this the first time Kirk's been wrong? Well, I mean, again, I have to go look at the tape again. It was by decision. <laughs> and do I think that it was bribery? I saw some of uh, Conte Kip's cookies out with the judges, and it went to a decision. So I don't know. Should there be a rematch? It's up to you. But congratulations. Like I said, tonight is a night for people who take selfies and are our only fans and don't show their tits. Listen, that's a lot of girls out there. So we're going to catch up with Alex in a second. Kirk Minahan. Oh. Yeah. Kirk Minahan, a decisive I gotta, I gotta loss. I always got to check the tape, Dave. Yeah, I mean, that was a good spin zone. But he knows it. He got dominated by Alex Bennett. And, yes, Alex beat Cupcake, but he really beat Kirk Minahan. Yes, and Alex, the whole family I'm, I'm so impressed with what Alex did. Unbelievable. She trained her ass off. She challenged herself, and she was incredible in the ring tonight. And here's Caleb with Alex, a clear, easy, sh I don't want to say shocking, but dominating winner who may have to fight for the belt. Yes. Alex, that was easy. That, that was easier than I thought. Listen, I mean, obviously you you proved Kirk wrong, but you proved, I think, a lot of people at home wrong. People are starting to say they want to see you fight for the belt. Well, I don't know what that means, but I'm in. <laughs> Would you fight again? I think I actually think so, yeah. Was there anything about tonight that surprised you or th that you that caught you off guard? It seemed like you had it all together. Yeah, I didn't think Kirk was going to stand where I could see him. Yeah. So every time I felt like giving up, I went a little harder. You think you could beat Kirk's ass? I fucking know I could. He's all talk. You might could, honestly. I know I could. Will we ever see you against Cherry Bomb or one of our, our established female fighters? Or are you done? Is this over for you? I can't decide. I don't know. I said two weeks, and I'll decide. I got to take two weeks off. We'll reassess. Well, we'll celebrate tonight. Alex Bennett, your Barstool Sports obvious champion. We went one for two tonight, but we might see you again. We might go at least two for three. I liked it. Yeah. Alex kicked her ass. Can I ask her something? Yeah, we got a question what? from Dave, Alex. When did she know that she was in total control of the fight? Like instantly? At what point did you know that you were in control of the fight? First 10 seconds. That's what I thought. You, if you don't come out throwing, no shot. And we talked a little bit backstage, and you asked me, you know, how do I handle my adrenaline? Because I've just seen it before. And I said, listen, you really can't handle your adrenaline. you got to do what you can. Was that a factor? You, you can't handle it. I did everything I could to slow it down. It's so intense that you're just letting it go. And it's three minutes, 180 seconds. You made it happen tonight. I think everyone is very proud of you, and I think uh, we might want to see you back. Thank you, Caleb. I, maybe I'll be back. All right, Alex Bennett. Uh, what oh, a fight. What yeah. a shocking fight. Joey Kamesa just sat next to me. Yes. I may have said disgusting one point during your I, I, I called okay. you thick with many C's. I, I called you it, thick with many C's before It, it slipped well. out. Yeah. Disgusting slipped out. I apologize. Well, uh, and are you night. announcing the ring girls? Um, I believe I am. Joey. All right. Yeah, put your mic a little closer to your mouth, Joey. Oh, dance me twice. So Dave and I are signing off. That was an Unbelievable. awesome Congratulations to Alex Bennett, the Ables. What a night. Um, what a night. What, what a night. A night. I, I, the, Alex Bennett stole the whole show. I, I, if I could do Rough and Rowdy for the rest of my life, I would. It was a hell of a fight, hell of a night, hell of a pay-per-view. Thank you for everyone buying. Pete, put up a couple more Madden coats. We the got people. the uh, ring girls now. I don't know his name. Yeah, Joey's going to take us off with the ring girls. So just go Thank off with the commentary. Thank you for everyone for buying. All right. Joey, take it away. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here. Look at all this, these delicious, bodacious women. I'm a little jealous because this outfit is old, and they all have new, fresh, gorgeous outfits. Um, but I'm excited for what's, gonna, what's to come. They've been kicking ass all all night long with their little outfits and uh, shaking those coolies. I did see two C-section scores, though. I do want to point that out. All right, we're getting started here. Stu Finer is wearing clown shoes, a dress from the dress barn, and a wig from a bad neighborhood in Harlem.
Frank? Frank, do you have any personal favorites on the, in the ring right now? Um, I always favorite the people that wear the, the old glory. Okay. So anyone that wears American pride usually wins this. There we go. I'm up with the Zebra today. What do you think of my performance tonight, Frank? Okay, very large. Stage here. Brian She's Barstool. wearing a dragon themed uh, bomber jacket. How's my set okay? Yeah. Are you all done? Yeah, I'm excellent. Thank you so much, Jerry. You're the fucking man. By the way, Jerry's going to get me into uh, referee school. I'm going to probably be reffing at the next Rough and Rowdy that they hold in West Virginia. You're the man, Jerry. All right, guys, so we're going to do the ring card contest. And you know who it's brought to you by? 3 Chi. 3 Chi is the premier Delta 8, Delta 9 provider. You can buy it if you're over 21. Gets delivered to your door, even if you don't live in a state that has dispensaries. This is 3 Chi. You go to 3chi.com before midnight, you'll get 10% off with Relax 10. After midnight, you use Stool 5, and you'll get 5% off. So you gotta jump on this fucking thing right now. Psychoactive effect, you gotta be 21. And more importantly, you gotta be loud for these ladies tonight. Please be loud for these ladies. The only lady in this ring that deserves no respect is Stu Finer. Otherwise, <laughs> these are all fucking gems. We already have our online winner. And the online winner is number one, Miss Sandy Cheeks. Oh. Come on, Sandy Cheeks. Which By the way, I'm out of breath. Fan, that was probably one of the greatest rough and rounds I've ever fucked up. Cool. Shout out to Coach Dugs for staying on his feet for the most part. Shout out for Alex Bennett for doing her thing. All right, let's get to it. We got a lot of money to give away. I got best costume gets 500, best dance move gets 500. First place gets 3,000 fucking dollars. Second place gets $1,500. Third gets 500, fourth gets 500, fifth gets 500. I don't know where 3G gets all this fucking money. All right, so we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna call the girls out one by one, and you guys gotta make some fucking noise. You're telling me to speed it up? Like, I wanna fucking be here? Damn right I do. I'm gonna call you guys out one by one. You're gonna make a little thing around. Everybody makes some noise. That's gonna decide the winner, right here. I'm gonna call up the first person. Number one is Sandy Cheeks. Sandy, give me a goddamn lap. Jesus Christ. Uh, Sandy is the original brick shit house, according to Jerry. I apologize to my wife and daughter in advance. Right? Daddy's got to make a little bit of money. All right, so that's Sandy Cheeks. Up next, we got Sexy Lexi, number two. Sexy Lexi, so it's with the guy. I believe she's won this before. That Kevin is giving us a little Number three is Now, those shoes are from TSW. I saw them the other day. Okay, now she did lose her number, giving us color blocking uh, with the American flag. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think she did enough. I uh, yeah. don't think she did enough to get the votes there. Yeah, I'm more turned on by your flag, Frank. Number five. Number five is Ashley. Ashley, sorry, it's an Ashley. Now she fits. Yeah, there she is. Now I gotta say, she's shaking the ass. And Ashley is shaking the ass. Yeah, so I, and I compare myself to one of the girls up there. I would say she's the closest to my body type. Gorgeous. Lucky, lucky green. A lot of jiggling, a lot of jiggling. Yes. Jello. Now she does She's got the jello ring. effect. She does have a belly ring and a C section spot. Okay. Now her shirt says pizza. So that's oh. something you and I can't That's behind, gonna help. Right? That's gonna help. Pizza's that's gonna help. Now she's wearing a wedge. Okay. So the straight comes stuck in here. Those all of that was available at the. Uh, she looks like a mermaid with those uh, shells. Yeah, like wakes of us. That's a good view, boys. Number 10 is, is dessert. Now, you like dessert, Doug's correct? I love dessert. I haven't had it in a few months. Now, she's very modest. Now, she's, now she is covering up a little bit with ass chaps, but still showing just enough. The little people always get good cheers here. They always get good cheers. Well, you know, little people have the best asses. 
But well, here's your, here's okay. Miss America. No, it's a, den a denim bikini bottom, a striped she top. She did not do enough, though, to get the crowd. Yeah, yeah, she needs a little more energy. Now, she lost the bottom of her outfit, so she's picked up a dirty pair of bikini bottoms that she got from the beach the other day. Okay, we're well, yeah, bunny there ears, bunny you ears. See, you got to do something. You got to yeah, jiggle. she's shaking it. Especially that she's we're in later round. You got to get people to cheer. Correct. You got to some, some showmanship. Now she tripped. But she picked, it, she picked it back up with an ass shake. That's what I like to see. Okay. I have the same boots. Gorgeous. Okay, now this is someone that everyone was speaking about all night. Her body's yeah, that, incredible. That should get her some big votes. Beautiful. She went with a nude sandal and an ankle tattoo. Now, what are you thinking about the nipple coverage, um, Frank? Would you prefer something a little bit more covered up, or you like it back? This is fine. Okay. It's fine. Is it? And her pussy's out as well, as you see here. It now, is. she owns a sherbet in front and silver in the back. Now, would you she looks like opposite? Moana. <laughs> would you have reversed that? Um, I wouldn't have reversed. I do like a little bit of color up front. Now, this one... Oh! Okay, now, she has the worst outfit, but she did pick it up with the best performance. This looks like she forgot she was coming here and just found a bikini bottom, a bikini top, in the ladies' room. But I like that she used spray gel in her hair today. All right, so we gave some time for the favorite. tabulations. But before we get to the tabulations, we can give out best costume and best dance move, right? I'm going to do best dance move. Okay. You're well, going to do best costume. And it's almost <laughs> unfair because well, I, I gave her the spotlight, but, but by far the best dancer is going to be the hustler. The way she's that's what I said. That yep. thing on it, but she lacks an outfit. She made up the performance. Oh, yeah, that's really great. And it might get her to win. Happen. Now, we got to go with best. We got to go with best costume. I apologize. So we got to go with best costume. Anybody you want, but it can't be you. I take think a look. that take your time, the red Stu. outfit take with, a, with, the, with the new sandal. I do too. Remember though, she's so me back the this. hustler just took in 500 bucks. Number. The best I think it's, it's going to be the, uh, the, the mermaid. It's going to be the mermaid. Number ten. Uh, and right? Out. Dessert's it's never good until tonight. Good effort number there. ten. Number ten. Number ten is number one Maybe with the bullet. And now it gets scientific. Now it's taken out of our hands. So I'm about to go to our tabulation expert and find out who placed fifth for 500 bucks. Do you think it's me? Whisper it in my ear. I'm with you. Okay. Let's see, there's lots of tension in the room. 